What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Against All Odds podcast. It's been a while since I've had somebody on the podcast with me. I'm starting off this year with a bang. I got Tulu. Tulu. <laughs> First, can you just explain where Tulu, the name, came from? Name? Uh, It's funny because I got this name from, like, just my friends, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It was just my friends, and, you know, it's, it's, like, it's like an African group, you know? So it's like, it's actually a long name. The name is Tulu that's, that's gonna be a tough sound yeah, for me. Yeah, so, so, so it's like it's a long name. So it's like you know, for us, like not everybody can say the full name, you know. Yeah. So we just cut it short. So yo, Tulu, Tulu. And does Tulu. that mean anything, or is it just a name? It doesn't really mean anything though. But like, I think I'm gonna bring like, I'm gonna give it a meaning. You know, I'm still. Thinking you already about have. It. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you already kind of have like branded your your name Tulu yeah, everywhere. Yeah. So. But for those who do, you want to say your full name for the podcast? Uh, Walid Walid Yakubu. That's my that's, that's my Yacoubu. actual you know government name. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so I'm really excited about this podcast because you have a crazy story about like your life in general, your playing career. It, it's really really exciting, and I've only heard bits and pieces of it just from us being teammates over yeah. you know twice over the last like couple of years. But uh, I'm pumped. I'm really excited. Let's get to it, man. But before we start, yeah. you got to get your Instagram plug out of the way. Okay, okay. So for uh, those who are listening, what's your Instagram handle? Instagram is Tulu, T-U-L-U, number two, L-U underscore. Tulu, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And Tulu, all, Tulu. And for all those of you watching, it's on the screen right now, so hey, you can follow. Hey. So there you go. There's all your right. there's your plug. I bet. Let's get it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So let's roll the intro for the podcast, and let's hop into it. Okay, so Tulu, um, let's just start from the beginning. Where were you born? Uh, I was born in Israel. A lot of people don't know this, bro. Yeah. But like, I was born in Israel, Tel Aviv. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the name of the city. That's what Have you been back to Tel Aviv since you've been born there? Nah, nah. I want to go back, though, but- I've heard I it's have, a sick city. I don't have any family members there or- How were you born you in know, Tel Aviv? Parents was work, working. You know, My dad was an ambassador, so he was traveling a lot, you know? So they were living in in uh, in Israel. Mm-hmm. So I was born there. My sister was born there. My my brother was born there. And yeah, I only been there for like two months, and then came to Togo. So, so you don't have much memories there. Nothing, bro. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> but Tel Aviv is. I've had a couple of friends who have lived in Tel Aviv, and they say it's sick. Like they're like it's one of the best cities out there. My uh my cousin my cousin be going back because like my mm-hmm. aunt she's from Israel, you know. So they go back, but I never been back. Yeah, yeah one day there. One we can day. go back together. Yeah, we can go, man. We go on a little trip, you know. What I'm That'd be sick. I love sick. a little nah, nah, Tulu Shelly yeah, yeah, trip bro. over to uh, Tel Aviv. It'll be fun. And then, so after Tel Aviv, you you moved to Africa, right? Yeah. So uh, Tel Aviv went to uh, Togo, West Africa. Mm-hmm. That's where, like, you know, most of my family members from. That's where my dad is from. My mom is from. Yeah, and I lived there for uh, grew up there till I was twelve. And what was the city? Uh, Lome. Is that the it's capital? Like, that's like the capital, yeah. yeah that's yeah. the capital, yeah. Lome? Lome, yeah. And then in Togo, you speak French? We speak French. We speak Ewe. Ewe. Yeah, that's a traditional language. It's called mm-hmm. Ewe, yeah. So I, I, I have it. Yeah. I speak it, yeah. And then, but you don't know any, um, like, Hebrew or... Nah, 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 nah. I don't know that shit, man. So, <laughs> so, just, so just French and Ewe growing French up and in Ewe. Togo. French and Ewe, that's it. And what was you like your, your childhood like in, in Togo? In Togo? I mean, did you play a lot of soccer? I didn't. Uh huh. I didn't. It was just, uh, it was just, it was school, you know. School was no soccer. You know, I'll sneak out sometimes, go play soccer, mm-hmm. and then hopefully, I don't hope I, that I don't get caught. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I have like this little one memory that I remember. It was like a tournament. It was like a tournament, and uh, keep in mind, I was living with my aunt. Mm-hmm. So where were your parents? No, actually, so till like I was like, I was like probably like nine. I was living with my dad, right? Uh-huh. I was living with my dad. I was, I was on my dad's side, right? My mom left. She left in, she left when I was three years old. Mm-hmm. Like three, two, like two turning three. She came to America, right? So I didn't see her for 10 years. Damn. I didn't see my mom for 10 years, right? Damn. She left when I was like two, about to turn three. And the next time I saw her when I was at like 12, right? That's crazy. <laughs> right, when I was at like 12. So thing is that, so she came to America. That's when she came to Maryland. Mm-hmm. She came to Maryland when I was like two, three. And then look, it was just like, I just keep talking to this lady on the phone every day. 
You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I didn't know what she looked like. At that moment, they didn't have like WhatsApp. Yeah. So like, it was a new video call. It was more like, you know, like, um, like a local, like, like a local, you know, those local cell phones. Yeah, the call centers. Yeah, the call centers. So like, I would just be like outside playing and it would be like, hey, hey, Wally, your mom is on the phone. Your mom is on the phone. Just run there, talk to her for like two minutes. And that's it. You know what I'm saying? But it was like, she was in America, you know? So she kind of like, we was in Togo. So she like, kind of like, send money like monthly whatever mm -hmm. so like so like, i was living with my aunt but like you know i was kind of like i was living all right because she's in america and you know the the, the difference between yeah. the money is like if she sends back a few hundred bucks yeah it, it could like yeah, it, could, it could go for like a month you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so i was living all right you know what i'm saying so i was living all right but it was more just like school and did your mom go to america you know, just for that for helping out like as for a job opportunity she, yeah she came to america just for like a, a better life opportunity pretty much you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so yeah, it was and just that there. was hard on you. I can't even imagine how hard that is on your mom. Bro, she came with my sister, mm -hmm. so she left me and my brother. Dang, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. why didn't you take me, bro? That's a hard. You know what I'm saying? Why like didn't take me? You know what I'm yeah, yeah, so that's tough. So, but then again, I understand because like she had to take the girl with her. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? She had to take my sister with her instead of like taking a boy and then leaving the the daughter to grow up without like a mom. It was better yeah. for like the boy. You know what I'm saying? To grow up without. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But obviously, she did it for like good reasons. You know what I'm saying? It was nothing like. Oh, I'm just leaving my kids. Yeah, like, it was yeah, nothing yeah. like that. So, yeah. So I mean, I was living on my on my dad's side till my dad passed away. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? My dad passed away. And then when my dad passed away, then I moved with my aunt, which is from my mother's side. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I was staying with my mother, but I, my aunt. But it was nothing like uh, no soccer, but it was just school. What did you want to be when you to, when you were like when you grew up? Like, what were you <laughs> thinking? Like, what was little Tulu thinking? Uh, That's five years old, six years old. Bro, I wasn't even thinking. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I was, I was even thinking, bro. Like I had no idea. But I was just going to school, mm -hmm. uh, just living life. Bro, I was just living, bro. It, I was, was it? I was just growing living. up. Like you think, like looking back, it was like a good childhood. Like you had fun and everything. I, bro, it's different from here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like. When I talk to people here, they be like, oh, how, how come you don't know this show? Like, how come you don't know this show? I watched this show when I was my child. Bro, I, I didn't watch none of that shit when I was my child. You know what I'm saying? I was just like, it was just cool. And then I go out and then play. Like, I'll play soccer, but like in front of the house. Like, we'll set up like little like rocks as goals mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And people would just play. And then like, I'll play with my cousins. And then, you know, I was sometimes being a goal. It was just, it was just that, bro. It was just, it was just, but a childhood, I will say it was fun. You know what I'm saying? It was fun. It was fun, but it wasn't like I don't really remember much of it because it wasn't nothing really memorable. But mm. yeah, it was cool. Just though. living life. Yeah, I was just living, bro. And then at twelve, you said you came over to America. At twelve, right? At twelve. And that's when your mom basically had saved up enough money to bring you over. Nah, your, that, that's when, like, after after those ten years, right? Because she left me when I was like two, yeah, so three. So after those ten years, that's when she obtained like the paper to be mm. able to travel because she couldn't leave the U.S. Oh, okay. If she leave the U.S., yeah, she can't come back. Yeah. So it's like it's like you know. So she yeah, she obtained those paperwork like she could leave, and then come back. You know, she could leave and then go bring like her children's back. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So after t after ten years, you know, she came back to Togo. Finally saw her for the first time. What was you that like? Saying? It's crazy. Like this, is the woman I've been talking to on the phone. You know what I'm saying? Did you like? Did you feel like, oh, this is my mom? Like I'm really close with her. Um, or was it, like more like a stranger. Nah, I didn't feel like a stranger because I was, we was talking on the phone, you know what I'm saying? Maybe like every other two days, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It was, the connection was still there, you know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, we had, I just only seen pictures and stuff like that. So, but it was cool. It was cool, bro. She came in and then brother, so we had 12, you know, me and my brother. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hey, and when you came over to America, you said you didn't know a single word of bro, English, right? I did not know shit. <laughs> I swear to, I swear to God, look. <laughs> I can't even bro. I want to know what it was like to be in school though and not know any English. Bro, 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 bro. Because nobody could speak bro, way or French. School? Nah. Like, like, like. So like, so like when we came here, right? So like the community where we where we lived at, you know, we still live around there. You know what I'm saying? It was mm -hmm. just like, it was just like where she, where we lived at was just straight like Africans, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like we live in the African community and this apartment is like it was just straight Africans there. You know what I'm saying? So like so like a lot of people from like Togo, uh, a lot of people from like Cameroon, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So like Congo, so like they speak French, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So the way I kind of picked up quick was uh, I would just go downstairs, right? I would just go downstairs in my apartment, mm -hmm. 
like summertime, like there's a lot of kids that come outside. We're all Africans and then some of them will speak French and then some of them won't, but we just like play. Like it wasn't shit else to do. We just run around yeah. and then just kick kick the ball around and, 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 and that was it, bro. It was just like, but like I didn't know shit. School was fucking hard for me, bro. <laughs> I swear to you, <laughs> that shit was hard, bro. And that shit was tough, bro. I didn't want to go to school, bro. Because yeah. of the language, bro. It's like, you got like these little girls making fun of you at school and yeah. shit. Like, like it wasn't, I wouldn't really call it like bullying, mm -hmm. but it was, you know, I could it's tell them. Yeah, are. I could tell them making fun of me, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, bro. It was tough, bro. Yeah. Because I mean, the only thing I've ever experienced, I went over to Germany yeah. and just having that of like, I knew like two words in German, yeah. like Dankeschön and Hallo, that was yeah. it. And then I was, I was like trying to figure it out. But then even then, yeah. everybody can speak English over there. So like, I didn't have that of like, yeah. I've never been in that like place where it's like, yeah. I don't know a single word of what's going on. No. I can't even imagine how that is. No, bro, that shit was terrible. So even through all that time though, you're still playing, but you're not playing, you're not on a team. You're bro, not playing it seriously. It was like, bro. it was nothing serious, bro. It was mm -hmm. nothing serious. Like I just go downstairs, kick the ball around. I was in eighth grade, right? Mm -hmm. I was in eighth grade. I was, um, I was, I was like, well, I was 12, 13. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I was, yeah, probably like 13, whatever. Uh, eighth grade. Then, uh. You have your girlfriend at this time? Come on, bro. Probably had like six already, but <laughs> yeah. like, nah. Uh, nah, nah, that time, bro, was just like, I ain't no shit, bro. Trust me, bro, I ain't no shit, so. Mm -hmm. But I, you know, went to went to school. I was in eighth grade. Uh, came in the summer before eighth grade, right? So my eighth grade year, you know what I'm saying? Um, decided to like, kind of like, my middle school had a team, you know? Mm -hmm. So I was like, yo, let me see if I could, I could play, you know what I'm saying? So 13 was when I finally like started playing like organized soccer. Mm -hmm. Like when I was like 13, that's when I finally had like my first coach. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. First coach and you know, it was there when they started like teaching me how to pass the ball, right? Yeah. When I was 13, bro. And uh, yeah, so from there- Were you good on that team? Or were you like one of the worst guys or one of the better I guys? I was the or... worst guy, bro. Just because you didn't have any of the fundamentals. I didn't have no fundamental, nothing, bro. Uh -huh. Nothing, you know what I'm saying? And my first, I would say like my first, um, my first club, right? My first club was like one of my friends that we lived together in an apartment. Mm -hmm. One coach came to watch it because we went to the same middle school. So one coach came to watch him play. And then uh, they was talking, he was talking to the coach after the, after the, after the game, mm -hmm. like a middle school game, like a good game. He was talking to the coach. And I just went up to my friend. And then, you know, he's like, hey, he was telling me, like, hey, this is my coach. I could barely speak English. And this is, I remember this exact word, right? This is like, words. this is what I say to the coach. I'm like, in, the, in, my, in my African accent, you know what I'm saying? I had like a strong African accent. So I was like, are you a coach? <laughs> I want to play for your team. That's the thing I said to him, bro. <laughs> bro, bro, even up to now, he still tell me that shit, bro. He still tell me that shit. He, he was kind of say like as a joke, he'd be like, are you a coach? I want to play for your team. Yo, that's the thing I said to him. Uh -huh. I said that to him. And then from there, like, you know, he'll come like, you know, he'll take us to training because he'll come like, I told you that community, that, that, that apartment was just like all like Africans, like our mom, parents was working. So it was mm -hmm. like, so the coach will come, he's Jamaican, he'll come. He would pick us up after 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 um after school. Mm -hmm. And he would take us to train and stuff like that. And then so like when I was like 13, that's when I started. I got like I guess my first coaching and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. First coaching. That's yeah, that's that's late. Bro, that's late. That's late. Yeah, that's late. Most kids by 13. You don't, you don't even want to know. You don't even want to know when I decided, okay, I want to play pro. Like, well, late, I know, bro. I know for you, you didn't make your high school team until your senior year bro, right? to my senior year bro that's crazy yeah because you so you were just playing for like a team like that until you're that junior. that same coach bro oh all so the way from, up. from eighth grade you know what i'm saying i met him in eighth grade yeah. i was playing with him till i was like 11 11th grade you know going yeah. to 12th grade and i was like okay let me try this high school team how many times did you train with that guy like with twice that a week? guy bro was like yeah maybe like twice or three times a week uh -huh. but it's, so it's, this guy you got you owe a lot of your career bro, to this that's guy. my guy bro yeah. that's my What's guy. His name? uh coach earl Coach Earl. Coach Earl, bro. Is he still doing the coach same thing Earl. right now? Nah, he doesn't coach anymore. I don't, he's not coaching anymore. But uh, bro, that's my that's my fucking guy. Bro. <laughs> that's awesome. That's my guy. He came to watch me when I signed at uh, Hartford uh -huh. in twenty twenty one. He came to watch a game. Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, nah, nah. That's yeah, that's guy. that's sick. Usually, you come to the games where you go play like down in Loudon. Yeah, he came, he came to one game in Loudon as well. Uh -huh. yeah, 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 I mean that's that. Everybody I talked to on these yeah. podcasts, like everybody has somebody like that that like. Yeah. 
took him under their wing bro at like that i'll tell you right now if it wasn't for that guy i don't even know bro like like yeah. like 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 i probably wouldn't have been playing yeah and you know what i'm saying i probably wouldn't have like took soccer serious at all it would just uh-huh. be i would have just been like somebody that just oh I, you know i kicked the ball a little bit in my background in, in, yeah. my, back, in my backyard and that's it you know what i'm saying so mm-hmm. yeah and then from there you know like i told you when i joined that team i was at the bottom bro because mm-hmm. like all the little kids you know come on they kind of played a little bit you know what i'm saying blah 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 it wasn't like it wasn't like an african team so keep in mind mm-hmm. like he had like you know like yeah guys kid. who had played yeah. for years yeah yeah, yeah 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 so it was yeah yeah, that's that's pretty crazy. And then so senior year of high school. Yeah. And you made your high school team for the first time. I I uh Were I, you 17, 18 years old? Bro, I was like I think I was 17. You know what I'm saying? I was 17. Did you come in and kill it or did you I was come 17. in and I didn't kill it. So actually, so actually I joined the team, right? I joined the team my junior year, uh-huh. right? Joined the t- team my junior year, but I didn't touch the ball at all. Or or I didn't touch the game ball at all. All I'm touching is just practice balls. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I didn't touch the game ball at all the whole season, my 11th grade year. Mm-hmm. Right? So I'm just like, I'm just on the bench, like, I'm looking at the other guys, like, going off, bro. Like, they're going off. Like, the team was decent. You know what I'm saying? The team mm-hmm. was decent. I was looking up to these guys. I was looking up to most of these guys in high school, all of them, because I was on the bench. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy now, like, I don't even remember nobody from my high school that's playing pro right now. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I was on the bench just looking at him. That's my 11th grade year because I didn't play my 9th grade year. I couldn't make the team. Yeah. 10th grade, couldn't make the team. 11th grade year, finally like made the team, but didn't play. I didn't play not even one game. Uh-huh. 12th grade come, uh, I think it was like second game of the season. I don't know, somebody got hurt or something like that. They mm-hmm. just put me in and I was just winning all the head balls. That's all I was doing. Mm-hmm. Like I still center wasn't back, like- You playing center back? Huh? I was playing like it was kind of like a like a sweeper or something sweeper, like that. So, so like they played like three in the three in the back, and then yeah. I was right in front of that guy. <laughs> that was... Bro, still like like obviously like I just started I I just started getting coached like two three years ago. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So it's like I still didn't know about the game. Like I mm-hmm. still couldn't pass properly, pretty much. I mm-hmm. still couldn't do much properly. So that's your position, bro. Coach just told me you just clear all these balls out. Yeah, like, just get all these balls out of, out of our defense. So I wouldn't even pass like. That center, that that center circle, mm-hmm. I wouldn't pass that much. When the ball come, make my tackle, pass, clear the ball out. I don't yeah. even fucking make passes. <laughs> and then from there, it's just like I started playing. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I started playing. This was my senior year. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to say I started like the rest of the season, but I got to play a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And then you know I started getting a little more comfortable. And mm-hmm. yeah. And did you like? Were you refining your skills at all? Like, were you working on passing? Were you working on like your first touch then, or? Just were you just focused on just playing and doing your role? Yeah, but I didn't know like like bro, I didn't know like nothing about soccer, bro. Soccer yeah. was not really like my thing, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. what was your thing? Bro, I was just chilling. I just <laughs> I just like to vibe, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> just I'm a vibe, bro. I just like to vibe, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I didn't really know what I wanted to do, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. 12th grade year, you know what I'm saying? I didn't even know I didn't know shit about college. Really? Like like So your like, senior year you had no idea what was bro, next since I didn't know what was next, bro. Yeah. So like after we played our last game, like and we lost, it's like I was crying. Like I was crying. Like yeah. the, my high school game, I was crying because like you thought I'm like last year. Yeah, this this like my last time I'm I'm playing like an actual game. Like, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I was like, yo, I'm done. Like, I don't know what's gonna happen to me next. Like, I don't know if I'll ever play again. Like, I don't know what's next, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And like obviously like I have a, I have an older brother and older sister, but like they didn't go to like no university or anything mm-hmm. like that. They went to a community college, you know what I'm saying? They went to a small community college, like, next door, you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I ain't no shit about college. So they couldn't, like, tell me, like, it's not like my brother went to, like, a university where he could be like, okay, my little brother's in 12th grade. Like, let me let, him, let, let me show him the route, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I ain't no shit, bro. No guidance, nothing. Yeah. It is crazy. Like, people talk about, like, privilege and everything and differences. Yeah. Like, there's a big difference of like a lot of people growing up that know yeah. about college. Like I've been, t- I've been on Zoom calls with eighth graders and their parents yeah. are like, yeah, we're already t- starting to take like the practice SATs, bruh, bruh. getting I his list of colleges. Bruh. That's a big difference from yeah. then people like yourself. You had no idea that there was even college soccer. No idea, bro. No idea. No idea. Did you know about the MLS? Did you know about like. I ain't no shit. I ain't know MLS was a fucking league, bro. <laughs> you, I don't even. I I can't tell you the last. Like, did you know what, about like the World Cup? Did you know about uh, like the. I knew prem? about the World Cup. 
but bro, like, like I'm telling you right now, even 12th grade year, bro, I did not know much about soccer, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, I didn't know anything. You just liked the sport. You liked having fun. I liked fun. the sport, yeah. When I started playing more my senior year, that's when I started falling in love. I started liking the sport. I'm like, okay, it's fun. I want to keep playing, you know? Yeah. How did you go from high school to Lou? Like you said, not knowing shit about college soccer. How did you get yeah. that opportunity then to play to junior college? Took a year off, right? Took a year off after, after my high school because just the only reason why I took a year off it was not an option. It was just like I was too late on like applying to colleges, you mm-hmm. know, because I didn't know anything, you know what I'm saying? So by the time I realized everything, everybody already in college and stuff like that. So I ended up having that whole year off. So that whole year I was just working. At a writing, you said. At a writing. <laughs> How was that mentally? Uh, For me, bro, it was all right, bro. You liked it? Yeah, I didn't. It's not oh. like I liked it, but I didn't really have an option, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, mom was like, yo, like, what are you doing? Like, you need to be in school, you know, all your all your people are in school. Nah, because at first, I wasn't working, right? Yeah. So, I was just training on my own, you know what I'm saying? I was just training on my own, and then uh, I wasn't really doing doing much, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And the mom is like, you're not in school. Like, you might as well go get you a job, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, got my got myself a job at Rite Aid. And then I was working overnight shift, you know, loading up the shelf, you know, mm-hmm. for the morning shift or whatever. Did that for the whole year. And then uh, one of my coaches, one of my coaches from the from that club, right, from that local club that I used to play for before I played for high school, right, mm-hmm. they, knew the, they knew the coach at the community college, you know what I'm saying? And he kept talking to me. He was like, yo, you might as well uh, – Get yourself into the community college. You're not doing anything, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's good people that came to this community college and they need to transfer it out, you know what I'm saying? Or they're doing bigger things now, you know what I'm saying? Community college is not it's not a bad way, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I didn't really know anything, you know. So took that whole year off and then the whole the next next fall registered for the for the for the community college, you know what I'm saying? So So another guy helped you out, kind of showed you the path yep, of life. Yep, yep. What's his just, name? Uh coach uh, Richard Todero. Coach Richard Tur- Yeah, yeah. He was he was he was pushing me to go to that community college, bro. Mm-hmm. And his wife is the athletic that di- athletic director, you know okay. what I'm saying, at that, at that, at that, at, at the at the community college. Gotcha. So he was pushing me to go there. So hey, I ended up going there, man. And, and then how yeah. did uh how did you like how did it go? So I was preparing myself to go there, right? So yeah. I was preparing myself to go there. So before And how often you were just training by yourself, you said? I was just training by myself because and- I knew he was already talking to me to go to the community college, so I was preparing myself for that community college. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I was like, yo, I'm about to go in here and kill this thing. You know what I'm saying? So I was preparing myself. So I was just training, you know, going to the gym. Tula from high school is very small. You got to know that, right? Really? I was small, Right bro. now you're, what, 6'3"? I'm like, yeah, like 6'2 and a half. And 190? Shit, you know what I'm yeah, straight. <laughs> big body. <laughs> how, t- how big were you in high school? Uh, Bro, I wasn't big at all. I was like... Maybe like five. Probably was like Luke. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Five ten, five nine. Luke is not even five ten, bro. Probably, probably like not, five yeah. six, bro. Five <laughs> five seven. You were that small. You graduated. I was like Luke. Yeah, yeah. I was like Luke in eleventh grade. So you mainly grew after. I mean, high yeah, school. after high school, bro. Because I say I'm school. a late bloomer, and I had yeah. my my growth spurt my senior year of call or of of high school. Okay. Like I was short, and then I still you know I'm six foot now, but I was like five foot six, five foot mm. seven, and then okay. I. Sp- you know, had a growth spurt my senior year. And I always say like, oh yeah, I'm a late bloomer. I'm late to soccer in general. Yeah. But you were really late. Yeah, 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 I was really late, bro. I was really late. So I was small. So once I knew I was going to that community college, yeah, started running. Like I said, again, like I'm not much of a technical player. You know what I'm saying? So all I knew was just running. And then I started like going to the gym. You know what I'm saying? Just start doing stuff on my own and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And then fall season came, you know, went on tryout. For the community college. Yeah. Made the tryout. And then from there, I wanted to be captain. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to be captain of the team. So I told the coach, like, hey, coach, I'm going to do whatever it takes. Like, it's for you to trust me to be captain. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I really pushed myself, show him that I deserve to be captain, show him that I was a leader. And then I was one of the the, the captain because we had two captains. So I was one of the captain mm-hmm. when I got there. Yeah. Wow. And then uh, would you say like when you were there, like were you still at the bottom of like the team of like for 
or as a player? Or do you think with all the training, do you think you were toward, like your skills were getting better? I was getting better. I was not, I didn't feel like I was at the bottom anymore. Yeah. Cause I was, I was starting there now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then start, then playing college, then playing high school, you know what I'm saying? Then play till my senior year. Yeah. Then got to community college. Some before the community college, worked my ass off, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Got to the community college. They gave me one of the, one of the captain, captain Ben. And I, I, I started the games, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I still wasn't like, I'm not good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. I'm not good, bro. What and, were you, what was your training looking like by yourself? Were you just juggling, <laughs> dribbling through cones, shooting on an empty net? Like, what, what were you doing? I wasn't shooting. Yeah. I wasn't I guess shooting. Back, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I wasn't shooting. I'll maybe dribble around the cone. You know what I'm saying? Juggle the ball. Yeah. Juggle the ball. Uh, What else would I do? Do you, some suicide. Did you running, do stuff yeah. like against the wall? Like you do like juggling against the nah, wall, wall passing? Nah, nah, nah. I, I really didn't like, I didn't have no like knowledge of you that. You didn't have like, to become a like, YouTube channel. Yeah, to look yeah, at. yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't like, yeah, I didn't have no YouTube channel yeah. to look at and stuff like that. So, Well, like, it's, yeah. I joke about it, but like it's seriously though, like that's why I started my YouTube channel yeah. was literally because like I was like that. Like yeah. I don't know what to do by myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, well, now when I was graduating college, I'm like, I have like thousands of drills I can do. Yeah. So I wanted to help out, you know, guys like Lil Tulu. So bro, I didn't if know. Only I, it was five I years earlier. I, I didn't know anything, bro. Trust <laughs> me, bro. I did not know anything, bro. But, but it, I just had like I had a dedication because I want to be better. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. I want to be better. So I was just out there just doing whatever. And at the end of the day, though, like I tell kids this a lot too. If you're just working and you're busting your ass and yeah. you're pushing yourself, yeah. you're gonna improve. That's true. You know, That's like true. Even if you're getting touches on the ball, it doesn't need to be anything crazy. Yeah. You're gonna improve. Yeah. It obviously it could be optimized if you have better drills and everything. Yeah. But like don't overthink it. Just go outside and work your ass that's off. Facts. That's facts, you know? bro. That's facts. And that's what you did. And it that's worked. What, yeah, that's what I did, bro. So you're that's captain of your right. junior college team then. And then did opportunities come from that? So I was there for two years, right? Yeah. So I played for two years. We did well, you know what I'm saying? We did well. After that, right? I thought like I thought I was good enough to go to a D1. Yeah. But I wasn't. Mm -hmm. I was lying to myself, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was lying to myself. I wasn't good enough to go to D1. Still have the still didn't have like the technical ability, you know what I'm saying, to go to D1, whatever, and keep this keep them keep this At in this mind. This time, two years later, you're now six foot, two and a half. You're one well, when I was a uh, well after after, after my two like, years towards your second year of your junior college. I wasn't one ninety. I was probably like, bro, trust me, I didn't know shit about like 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 food. like food, nothing. I don't I don't remember how much I weighed because I never weighed myself. Uh -huh. Like I'm just yo, I was just doing it. Yeah, I was just doing it, bro. I never like took like, oh, let me see how much I weigh, or maybe I need to lose this much. Mm -hmm. I just go to the gym, do whatever, lift up whatever weight I fucking find. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I see a treadmill, I get on it, I fucking run. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, bro, I didn't know shit. Like, it wasn't no structure, nothing, bro. It wasn't yeah. no structure to nothing, bro. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? I played community college, and then <laughs> pick bro, up whatever weight, bro. I just pick up whatever. But I'm like just again, doing like I'm laughing, but like it works. It works. It works. Yeah. It works. You just I have push videos. Yourself. I have videos like where like like bro, I was just running on a treadmill, bro, yeah. just for no reason. Mm -hmm. I probably didn't have like a mile set where I want to get. I was just running, and then when I get tired, I'm off. You know what I'm saying? Get back <laughs> on the blah blah blah. So yeah, so I didn't know how much I weighed or how much, but I was definitely smaller than this. You know what I'm saying? I was smaller mm -hmm. than this and shorter and stuff like that. So after playing for two years. I thought I was good enough to go to to go to D one, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But I wasn't good enough. I didn't have the grades, you know what I'm saying? I didn't have the grades. That's another one. I didn't have the grades to transfer to a D one, mm -hmm. and I wasn't good enough. So after playing two years at Community College, so now what's next? You know what I'm saying? End up going to a D three, and though and though another way that I find this D three is because I had another coach help me out, put me in contact with this D three coach. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I went on a visit there, very small school. Probably like, you know, how many, how many, how many students would be like in the college? Like, if you want to say like uh, average, an average, yeah. uh, like probably like 10 grand, 10 or, grand. I mean, 10,000, 10,000. Yeah. I think we had like less than 1,500 or like maybe like we had like 900 students in the whole school. That's tiny. You know what I'm saying? It's a small school. <laughs> I, in North my, Carolina, my college bro. had 30,000. Bro, probably like 900 students. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In like, in like, in like a small school. So like, me not knowing, and then and then have like the soccer program was decent. Yeah, I'm like yo, why not? You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I can't go to a D one. You know what I'm saying? Even if I even if I try to go to D one, the grade's not good enough. If I end up going there, like I'm probably not gonna play. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Let me go to a D three. So took that D three route, bro. Mm -hmm. Same 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 step. You know what I'm saying? Like before I went to that D three, bust my ass off all summer. 
Mm-hmm. Bust my ass Same type play. of stuff. Same type of shit, bro. Yeah. Trust me, bro. Pick up Take, any weight you find. Pick up any weight, bro. <laughs> just, yo, I was just put in the work, bro. Suicide, yeah, everything, bro. Yeah. Like, I bought, like, a training mask. Like, yeah. I had a training mask. Just just using that, like, fitness was at the top, bro. Yeah. Fitness was at the top. I mean, honestly, yeah. some of the best workouts I've ever had in my life is before, like, when I have a big opportunity like that, like, mm-hmm. before college, or before, like when I played like PDL, yeah, and like you know you're about to do that, and you have like two months, and you just work your ass off like yep. that. It's some of the best trainings I've ever yeah, had. Yeah, and you come in fit, and you're flying, bro. Were you, bro. Were you, you know, like you said, you came in, and, bro, and how were you? I was you there? flying, bro. Yeah. I was flying through like with. Were you, were you I was technical fit. now. I was fit. I wasn't technical. Was never my thing, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Just physical, just fit, physical. Yeah, put in the work. Yeah, win yeah. the headers. Yep, still yep. center back. Yep, not center sweeper back. anymore. Nah, not sweeper. Now I'm a center back from 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 that. Junior college, yeah. Became a How was like your saying. tactical IQ, like your understanding of the game at this point? Were you good? Like, were you uh, uh, compared to the rest of the guys on, at this D three school? Were this like, D three, I was decent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was decent. We had some good guys. I think from that D three now, from that D three, I think only two of us is playing pro right now. That's big from a D three school though. From the D3, Most yeah. D three schools, I feel like yeah. rarely send out a yeah. guy that goes and play pro. One of my boy right now, he's at Phoenix. Really? Yeah, he's What's at his Phoenix, name? bro. Babu, Babu Car. Oh, I know. I've he came to didn't he come to Tulsa on trial or something? Came to Tulsa on trial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He came on trial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I played against him. Yeah, yeah. For yeah years that's my now. guy. So yeah, so yeah, only two of us right now is playing. Yeah, right. Only two of us from that D three is playing pro. I didn't from know. High he, school. I didn't know you guys went to college together. We went to college together. That's okay. that's. Hey, I met him in college, mm-hmm. but he's from Maryland too. So yes, yeah, so I met him. And in this D three school, this was in in North Carolina, right? Not- North Carolina. Yep. Yep. Okay. And again, like another coach helping you out, kind of pushing you towards a path that he thinks is right for you. Yep. And you just took the chance and you went for it. And I just took out. it. Yeah. And then, so how did this season with this D3 school go? So I got there like fall. Like, I think I got there like in August, right? Yeah. So the season goes still until like what? Like November, whatever. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's like a, the, the semester, the fall semester is just like what? Three months, four yeah, months, whatever. Yeah. So it was good, right? We went to the NCAA tournament for the D3. And then we lost in the first round, I believe. Right? No, no, did it? Did we go? I don't remember if we went to the tournament, but we had a good season, right? We had mm-hmm. a good season. And uh, so people were like, yo, like, we looking up for the spring season. You know what I'm saying? We're looking out for next year. I told everybody, yo, I'm not coming back. <laughs> like, I can't, I went to the school for one semester and I left. Why? I told, Why? I just felt like at that moment, right? When I was at the D3, that's when I'm like, okay, I want to take this to the next level. Mm-hmm. That's when like through my high school year, junior college, whatever, I never thought about playing pro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So after my, my season in D3, right, I had a decent season. And I'm like, okay, let me let me try to go pro. Mm-hmm. But like- How old are you now? 21? I was- uh, Probably like 21, yeah. 21. So that's nah, probably the, like 20. I was 20. 20 I was probably 20. So 20 20 years old was the first time that you thought about even making a career out of playing yep, pro. Yep, yep, and, and And did you kill it this season? Like, why did you have so much confidence to be like, I'm going to play pro? I just, it came to mind, right? And I was like, look, if I stay here for another two years, by the time I get out of here, I'm 22. Mm-hmm. I'm 23. So it's like, time is going by. Mm-hmm. I'd rather just give it all now. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'd rather give it all now. So. I was like, yeah, let me let me take my chance. Did you have any I, coaches or any teams or any professional opportunities at that point? Or you just I, said, I'm I'm done. So this is what happened, right? So after that D3, right? That D3 season. So I was there just for three months, just for the fall semester, mm-hmm. right? Play my co- play my play my fall semester. I met this guy there, right? We still cool now, you know what I'm saying? He's my guy. So he was on the team as well. He was from Trinidad. Mm-hmm. So he was like, hey, yo, um, uh, I was telling people, like, yo, bro, I want to go pro. You know what I'm saying? I want to try to go pro. This is the first time I ever told myself or I ever said that I want to go pro. Yeah. When I was in, when I was at the D3. So um, he's like, yo, I got a coach. He takes players to Europe. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then they go on trials, like, in different teams or whatever. I could put you in contact with him. I was like, cool, put me in contact. So he put me in contact with his coach from Trinidad. I started talking to the coach. The coach is like, hey, look, uh, we going to Turkey in uh, in like January or something like that. Mm-hmm. Do you want to go? 
I'm just like, yeah, I want to go. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, he tell me the prices. This, you just got to get your flight. This, or this, how much it is to stay there for this amount of time. And, you know, we're going to train over there. We're going to play, like, we're going to have some trial. We're going to play against a, some teams, right? Mm -hmm. In Turkey. And then see where you stand. And if the team like you, you know what I'm saying? That they could take you, like, but well, obviously, like, it was like low level teams, whatever. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I was like, right, I'm cool with that. So after I finished playing that, 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 that season in D3, I'm telling people, like, yo, like I'm not coming back, bro. I'm I'm, I'm getting out of here. Like, like I feel like I'm wasting my time, and they believe me. <laughs> but I, but I believe in myself. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I believe myself. So, um, right after the 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 season ended, the semester ended, I didn't register for class for spring. Uh -huh. I just kept in contact with that coach, and then January come, he said, "Nah, we're not going to Turkey anymore." Mm -hmm. I'm like, "What do you mean? Like, what's next? You know what I'm saying? What are we doing?" He said, "Oh, you know, just be patient. I'm planning another trip." And then he hit me back up. He's like, hey, look, we going to Czech Republic. Mm -hmm. I'm like, Czech Republic. I never heard of Czech Republic before, bro. <laughs> I, ain't even, I ain't even know that was the country, bro. I never heard of Czech Republic before, bro. Say we going to Czech Republic. Czech Republic? Uh-huh. Hi, right, let's go to Czech Republic, bro. Let's see what Czech Republic has to offer. Because at this point, I didn't register for classes for the yeah. spring. So I have nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I've saved some money when I was working. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And all right, let's go to Czech Republic. So what was crazy too, and I say this a lot of like having multiple backup plans. Right. I feel like it's so common in the football world for opportunities to fall through. Yeah, like all so common. That's true. Of like you're talking to somebody, oh they're interested. Oh, all of a sudden that coach gets fired, or oh nope they're going in a different direction with a different center back, or oh no we're not going to Turkey anymore. Yeah. So it's like you got you lucked out that they're like oh we actually going to follow up with a different plan now. But easy, it could have just been like yeah sorry there's nothing else now, bro. It was just, it's just crazy, bro. Yeah. It's just crazy. And even at that, out. even at that point, like, I don't know what I was thinking because I'm still not good enough to make like a, like, like a pro team, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But I just don't know what I was thinking, you know naive, what I'm saying? Naive. Yeah. I'm just like, look, like, like I want to go pro and I'm going to do whatever it takes, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Bro. Still crazy. I still don't know how I'm a professional soccer player. To be honest, I don't <laughs> I know, bro. I think that, I think that I, well. I, I, it's crazy. seriously, bro. Seriously. But it's, it is a combination, like. I don't think that it's right to wait until you're hundred percent ready. Yeah. Like you have to go out there and get exposed to it and yeah. see what the next level yep. is like yep. gets and, and get slapped in the face. Like, Oh wow. I'm not ready for the speed of play yep. or I'm not fit enough or I'm not whatever. And then you go back to the drawing board, you restart, you do this all again. And yeah. it's a process. Like nobody, I mean, there are, I don't want to say nobody, lots of players do make it in their first trial or whatever. Yeah. But I feel like a lot of times you have to see it, experience it. You're naive. And then you're like, Oh, that's what it's like. I can get there. I just need to. I just need work. That's true. That's true, bro. So you went to the Czech Republic then. Went to Czech Republic, bro. Went to Czech Republic. End up staying there for let's say like four months. Uh huh. So you so found I a went team. There, went there, found a team in the. Wait, in did like, you did you go on like that tour thing where you're playing against teams and then you found a team or how did you find a team? That's there? that's what we did. We went there. We trained as a group that we went there. So like mm -hmm. so this is what happened. So February come talking to this guy. This guy's like meet me in Czech Republic, whatever. Buy your ticket for this date, whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. So I buy my ticket. Never seen this guy before, right? Yeah. Just bought my ticket to Czech Republic. He said, okay, I'm bringing this group from Trinidad over there, right? And then a couple of people are coming from different, like, some part of America too, you know what I'm saying? So get your ticket for this date. So we buy a ticket. We go there. And I'm at the airport like, hey, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? Like, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, we finally meet up. You know what I'm saying? Finally meet up. Then, you know, he take us to this house, whatever. He take us to this house. We stay there. Actually, I think we had a hotel. Take us mm -hmm. to this hotel. We stay at the hotel first until if a team interested, team will get you housing. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So we stay at this hotel. We wake up every day. And we go train. And then, you know, we have a game against a team, a local team, a, a lower division in Czech Republic. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, we end up playing this game. And then this team like, okay, like they like you. You know what I'm saying? You know, they will give you like a semi-pro. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's not pro, it's semi-pro. You want to stay here for three months? Hey, yeah, I stay here for three months, bro. I don't got no backup plan at home. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I stay here for three months. Because this you was know? like January, February. And so it's like February. The end part of that season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So. And, and it, like you said, semi-pro contract. So stay there from like February to like summertime. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Yeah. So semi-pro contract, you know what I'm saying? Still getting paid. I, I don't even know if I want to call it like semi-pro to be yeah. honest. It was just I don't even know, bro. Like, were you getting I didn't a really, paycheck? I didn't really have no no contract. Okay. I get paid like 
you come here and give you some cash. That's uh-huh. it. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? So maybe like Sunday League. I want to call it like Sunday League. Yeah. I don't know, but I'll call it semi pro. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So and they so they give you housing. They give us housing, right? Uh huh. And, and then that, some cash, whatever some cash, you ask yeah. for, it, pretty much. No, no, no. So you give you give us like so we have like this amount that he give us like every month. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Or every or every month, whatever. I wouldn't even say proper housing. It was maybe like an abandoned house. <laughs> Like seriously, bro. Like I'm not even joking. Like I'm not even joking. Why? What it looks like? It was like? me and two other guys that came from Trinidad. Uh-huh. Right? We stayed there, bro. We stayed there. It was like an abandoned house, bro. Some of this, some of this house had a window, but it had like no cover, nothing on the window, bro. Like you could just like put your hand through the window. Like seriously, bro. Uh huh. And we put like a like a curtain over it, yeah. and that's it, bro. Okay. Like it was just like it was rough. It was rough, bro. It was rough, bro. It was rough. It looked like an abandoned house. I promise you, bro. Uh It looked like nobody lived there for a while. Did you, at this point, when you're thinking like, okay, I'm going to be a pro, you have a vision of what your life's going to be like. Yeah, but for me- not what you're- No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for me, the thing is that if, uh, when I vision my my, my cell playing pro, at that time, I still didn't know shit about the MLS. So like for me, it was just Europe. You know what I'm saying? Like I want to go to Europe, Mm -hmm. play soccer- Make money. That's it. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So like, when I had an opportunity to go out to to Europe, Czech Republic, hey, we out. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So it was just that. But like, it was like, it was like we was at the bottom, bro. You know yeah. what I'm saying. And it was it was a lower league too. Like in the in the in the in the division. Uh huh. Yeah, it was a, it was a lower like 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 table like lower small club. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we was there when it's time for us to get paid. The the fucking manager that that's supposed to pay us, he's hiding. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you can't find him, bro. Like like it's like Friday. Like yo, give us our little allowance. Like mm-hmm. he's nowhere to be found. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He's nowhere to be found. Sometimes we have to like go to like the manager and just like sit like by his office and wait for him till we catch him. You know what I'm saying? It's like yo, where's our money? And then he'd be like, yo, I'll be back. I'm going to the bank. And then the guy don't come back for three days, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the guy don't come back for three days, bro. Like, 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 yeah, bro. It was tough. Like, you know, the the little money they're supposed to pay us. You know, we wouldn't get it on time. You know what I'm saying? The housing was bad. Uh, but you know what I'm saying? Like, like. But man. at the end of the day, you're still playing. Training. At the end of the day, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was okay though. Like, I, I, I was okay. Like, I'm not much of like a complainer. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. I mean, I could talk about it now and tell you like how it was, but like. Bro, I decided to stay there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I, was I know like, you stuck it out the rest yeah, of the season. Yeah, bro, I was there. Bro. A lot of players probably would have left. Bro, bro, I'll tell you right now, me and those two guys, right? That was from Trinidad. Yeah. Those, those are the only two black people I've seen like for the for the past three months since I've All been there. All in Czech Republic. Swear. Yeah. Nah, because like we was like in a small town in Czech Republic. Uh-huh. It's called Trebish. Okay, bro, I've never heard of that. Wasn't no black people there, bro. Like those two people. <laughs> Let me ask you what. So, if you guys were to walk around the town, did you yeah. get a lot of weird looks, bro? We got like weird looks. Experienced racism. How? Experienced racism. This is one night, like you know, what I'm saying, like we've been there for like a month, two months now. You know, what I'm saying, like let's go out like on a Saturday night. You know, what I'm saying, let's see, let's see what's out here. You know, what I'm saying. So we go out. We're in this club, whatever, and then there was this guy. With his group, like group of friends, like mm-hmm. just sitting across from us, right? It was, I kid you not, I am not lying, bro. He looked at us straight and they start making like monkey chants, like start beating his chest oh like this. God. I swear to you, bro. I swear That's to you, bro. Bad. I swear to you, bro. What'd you do? And then like we walk up to him yeah. and they kind of like start arguing or whatever. And then they had to like, we had to tell somebody and they had to kick him out the, leave the club or whatever. Well, or at the least the, the club like handled it well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, bro. That's like bad, it was bro. crazy. Yeah. So then I'm guessing after that, did you want you didn't want to resign with this club? You wanted to uh, go somewhere? Yeah, but I didn't want to come back, bro. <laughs> like after I went back home, like I was like, yeah, I'm not, I don't want to come back. And then we didn't we didn't do good either. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We didn't do good. So I didn't want to come back. They wanted me to come back. I'm like, nah, bro. Like, yeah, I didn't want to come back. I just came back home. Mm-hmm. And then where did you go after that? Uh did you so you came back home? This is the summer now. It's the summer, right? Yeah. I came back home, right? And then the guys that I played with at that D3, right? Yeah. I played with them at the D3. They uh, they're all still in North Carolina playing for like PDL, you know what I'm saying? Because that's somebody that had PDL going on. Mm-hmm. So I joined them. I joined them and we was playing PDL in North Carolina. Gotcha. We joined them. They was, we was playing for uh, North Carolina FC U23. Yeah. So they was uh, playing for PDL. And then uh, what happened? Yeah, I just drove down to North Carolina, 
it was like a to a two bedroom apartment uh-huh. with like six guys in there. Yeah, you know what yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's crazy was too is like, I mean, the improve. It's great because American soccer system has improved yeah. so much. Yeah. But like, what people don't understand is even just like at the beginning of your career, the beginning of my career, shit was way different than it yeah. is now. Yeah. The USL is so much more developed of a league. Even That's USL facts. League Two That's is facts. is developed so much more. That's facts. I it, when I was with Ventura County Fusion in the PDL as well, yeah. we had a two bedroom apartment, eleven guys. <sighs> We had literally in one of the bedrooms just mattress, yeah, mattress. The yeah. whole floor was just mattresses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was just me and like 10 other Mexicans. And we all just played Call of Duty zombies together. <laughs> and we just like, I loved it. It was fun. But like looking back at that, you're like, that is like crazy that I did went they, that. Did they Did the club give you guys the housing or, or how was it? Yeah. yeah okay, it was, okay. it was the ha- apartment from the club. And again, this is, they were Ventura kind of fusion. I'm not like shitting on them. They were one of the better USL yeah. PDL teams out yeah. there. Most PDL teams didn't provide housing. For us, we had to. We had to rent it. Oh, right? you guys we had, had to, pay to rent for it. it. So it was like six, seven guys in there, right? Yeah. So I was playing PDL. So we was playing PDL. We had like maybe two mattresses in the living room, whatever, mm-hmm. right? And like I had to go to work. I had to. I found a job at a restaurant. Yeah. So I, so in the morning, I'll go to the restaurant and work. And then we have training like in the afternoon, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that's how like I was able to pinch in with the, like the rent, yeah. and the food and stuff like See, that. See, that's what I'm saying. Like Ventura even was better off because it's like they gave us the yeah. apartment. <laughs> And then we just sat, yeah, we had guys underneath the stairs, the guys sleeping on the couch everywhere, <laughs> but it was free. And they yeah. gave us food. They dropped off food every week. Yeah. And like, but that's what it was like. That was almost 10 years ago. Yeah. So that's crazy. It's improved yeah. a lot. Yeah. So you grinded it out there again. At this point, Grind were you ever there. thinking like looking at your living situation because you're 22, 23 years old now? Right. Were you thinking like, ah, oh, this isn't it. I want to get a real job, make some real money, live in a nice apartment. Bro, I was like, at the point where I decided I want to go pro, I wasn't thinking about nothing else but just mm-hmm. playing. You know what I'm saying? I was thinking about nothing else. I was thinking about no plan B, nothing, bro. Thing is that I was training with that with the U23, and at the end of the season, the first team because they because we had a uh the first team was playing in the USL. Yeah. So they invited me to come train with the with the with the USL team. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I was able to like were they know, NASL that time? I am not even sure. They might have been. Yeah. I don't know, bro. This was I like can't remember. I guess so. That was a while ago. Yeah. So I mean I got I got some I got a couple sessions with the with the first team, you know uh-huh. what I'm saying? And how was the level when you trained with them? Were you thinking like I'm here, I'm there at the level? Or were you thinking like, well, these guys are pretty good? <laughs> they were good. Yeah. They were good. They were good. They were good. Uh I didn't really do much in the training session. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They just used me like as a if they need a, yeah. a guy or whatever. So I didn't really do much. But uh train with them, you know what I'm saying? Train with them. So and after that I don't I just left, bro. I think I went to Sweden after that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, how did you Sweden. get the opportunity in Sweden? Same guy that put me with a D three coach. Okay. Yeah. So, and this is what's important too is like for those of you who are listening right now, like it's so important to be a good person and like have the people that are helping you out like ha- gain their trust as like a person and a player. That's true. Because That's so true. many people want to help you and, and hook you up with opportunities, but they have to trust you as a, as a player and trust you as a person because these guys wouldn't have hooked you up in Sweden or Czech Republic if they were like, oh yeah, Tulu's a dick. That's or, true. you know, he's just not going to perform out there. Yeah. So you obviously made a good impact on these coaches and they then got you these opportunities. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I ended up going to the Sweden, semi-pro contract, you know what I'm saying? I think I even spent more than I made there, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So, is this, what like, is this, like third, fourth division in Sweden? Yeah, yeah this is like, maybe like, because you know they have the two first league, right? Yeah. And then, I'm like division three, so maybe like fifth. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like fifth division, you know what I'm saying? Uh I had to kind of even pay for my living. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't getting paid paid pay from the club. It was just like kind of like an opportunity, you know? Stay there, stay there for three months. And then uh went back again to uh, back to North Carolina. Okay. Back to North Carolina. To the PDL team again? Yeah. No, no, no. I went back. I when I came back, right? So there was a combine going on uh-huh. for the first team. Uh-huh. Right, there was a combine going on. And I was like, "Yo, let me uh, let me try my luck." You know what I'm saying? Let me enter this combine because I already know kind of the coach. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't have to pay for the combine. Mm-hmm. They kind of just gave me an invitation to the combine because I trained with the first team before. Yeah. So they gave me an invitation to the combine. Went there, right? Went to the combine, right? This was before preseason, so combine a lot of people there, whatever, whatever. So keep in mind, at this time, I'm getting better. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting better. Yeah. I've been playing. I've been traveling. You know. Played a little bit in Czech Republic, played a little bit in Sweden, came back, PDL, blah, blah, blah. So I'm getting better. I'm getting a little comfortable with the ball, whatever, whatever. So came back, did the combine, right? Did the combine. 
and then they're like, yo, we want you to stay for preseason, right? Mm -hmm. Then this is USL at this at this point. Yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. It's USL. So we want you to stay. We want you to stay for preseason. You don't have a contract yet, but we want to see how you look, you know what I'm saying, during preseason. And I'm like, no, nah, I'm not staying. I'm going to Sweden. I'm going back to Sweden. Mm -hmm. So went back to Sweden again. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because at that, at that moment, I never wanted to play in the US. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I never wanted to play in the just US. Just because of the whole thing of like Europe. You wanted Europe. Yeah, I just wanted Europe. I feel like, you know. Even if, if the I'm going teams to play in soccer. Europe were less money, less Yeah, yeah I just like, for me, it was just, I just visioned like, 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 a professional soccer player, it was just, I always have that picture of Europe. This mm -hmm. is the guys that I watch on TV, you know what I'm saying? Like, so like, just wanted to go to Europe, you know? So went back to Sweden, played there another, like, fifth division, right? Mm -hmm. Stay there. So I wasted the opportunity that I had trying to get in the USL at like that time, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Wasted that. Who would have known how that would have turned out, though? Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't know, but wasted that. So, uh, went you, back think, to you think you made the wrong decision? Oh, I, I wouldn't say so. You know what I'm saying? Prince keeps calling you. Yeah, Prince keeps calling you. Why are you calling me, bro? <laughs> He's obsessed yeah. with you, bro. Yeah. So, uh, I don't think I, uh, bro. I, for me, every decision that I made, you know what I'm saying. I'm happy for it. Yeah, you know what I'm, yeah. I'm happy that I went. To, I'm happy that I went to Kumi College. I'm happy that I went to a D3. You know what I'm saying? If I wanted to go to a D1 and not a and not a community college. I would have probably just went to a D1 and just been on the bench the whole time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Look who's calling me. Bible card. Bible. Answer, answer. Bible card. Answer out here. Yo. What's, up, What's good, G? How you feeling, bro? I'm good, bro. What you up to? Uh, I'm doing a podcast right now, bro. So right now, you <laughs> on the mic right now, bro. I'm putting a mic next to the speaker, bro. Hey, man. Man, shout out. Yo, 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 you know what's funny? I was just telling these people about you. I was just like, yo, out of like, we went to a D3. And out of that D3, there's only two of us that's playing pro right now. You know what I'm saying? Bro, the whole D3, man. That's, that's crazy. Bro, that's bro, bro, bro. I was just telling him right now, and I'm with I'm with Matt Sheldon, bro. You gotta tell Matt how we used to just miss dinner, lunch, just to go to the back bro, of the apartment, bro, bro. Or like the house. Bro, we was put, <laughs> we, we, bro, we was putting in work, bro. Like, at that D3, yeah. we'll get up, we'll train before training, bro. Yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. train before training, bro. <laughs> we was putting in work, bro. Trust well, me, bro. Tell me he's got to come on this podcast, bro. Bro, you got to come on this podcast, bro. I got to, bro. You sure. got to, bro. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, I'll hit you up afterwards, bro. All right, bro. All right. That's funny. Yeah, yeah. bro. I mean, that's how it works, though. Like, you, yeah. you have your bro, community of people. Yeah, bro. Like, like, that's another reason why I went to that D3, because it was so small that, like, I was focusing on myself. You know what I'm saying? It's like, like, it's like... No distraction. No distraction, bro. This D3 was so small. I will get up. I will run miles mm. before going to class. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We'll run miles, and then me and him will go out to the field, right? So it was a small school. Like, you could just get up and just go to the field. Like, the field is just walking yeah. distance. Like, you just walk, walk two minutes to the field. Train, go to class, come back, and then we have a team training. So like that's that's how we did like a lot of individual work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I mean that's I mean that's what you got to do yeah. when you're young like that. Your body can, is resilient. Yeah, like you do that. I was doing the same thing at college. Yeah. Same exact. We train. We not, I never did the training session before the training session. Yeah, but I did the training session, and then later in the evening, me and my friends would hop the fence to our, our school. Yeah. We made a copy of the key to the shed. Yeah, and <laughs> coaches didn't know. Opened up the shed. We would train yeah. there at night, doing like all the individual training yeah. and stuff. But that's sick. So, but do you? So you think that like. You never, you never want to regret any of your decisions, but you think r realistically, looking at it now, would you have told younger Tulu, hey, maybe the better opportunity is to be going to preseason with North Carolina? Uh, yeah, I would have said that because, mm -hmm. because I went to Sweden and I didn't end up signing my pro contract maybe like a year and a half later. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe a year later. But if I would have took that opportunity, you know what I'm saying? And nothing happened in Sweden, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I was just playing low division. But at that time, again, like, I didn't know nothing about the yeah, USL, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Nothing about the league in the US. So like for me, it was just about going to Europe, you know? Yeah. And yeah. do you think, would or, uh, did your living situation, was it better than the house at Czech Republic in Sweden now? In Sweden, yeah, it was, it was definitely better. What was, was definitely did you have better. a roommate or what was it? What was uh, it, it was just kind of the same thing. Like it was a group of guys that mm -hmm. went, you know what I'm saying? And uh, the housing was better, you know, had roommates, whatever. It was good, bro. Yeah. It was good. It wasn't. It wasn't really no complaints, bro. That's good. So at this point now, you've you've dropped out of school, right? You went to lower division in Czech Republic, 
You grinded it out on the PDL. Yep. You did two seasons in, in Sweden. In Sweden now. Yep. Yep. And, and so at this point, what are you, 23? I'm, uh, no, no, I'm like 21. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> African age or US age? <laughs> no, no, I already got one age. I was 21. I'm 21. I'm 21 still. Okay, okay. I'm still, still 21. 21. You know what I'm saying? The years is going slow, slow, Gotcha, slow, gotcha, slow. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. A lot yeah, of experience yeah. packed in those mm -hmm. years. Gotcha, okay. Keep in mind, I think I went to Sweden like twice in the same year. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? So everything mm -hmm. was going pretty fast. I mean, yes, you did say that. It was like three months here, three months here, three yeah. months here. Yeah. So yeah, so from Sweden, went to, uh, from that Sweden, right? I was there. They like two months there, right? And I went from there straight to Germany. Mm -hmm. From the same guy that brought me to Sweden. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Went to Germany. Was with a fifth division team in Germany. Right? Oberliga. Oberliga, yeah. Yeah, yeah I was there. Uh, I didn't play in the league, but like I was training with them, right? Yeah. I was training them, you know. Try to get in the league, but it didn't work out. Blah, blah, blah. What do you think of home. like the training in, in Germany? And like I liked that. it though. I liked it. I liked it. I liked it. I would I would love to go to Germany right now. Yeah, I, I, Germany's I, would, I, would, I would love to go to Germany right now. You know what I'm saying? I liked it. And the thing was that like I like like when like I'm in a different environment where yeah. like I I can't really speak the language, but I can understand them, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I can't really speak the language and uh a couple of people speak English, like you said, you know what I'm saying? So I couldn't understand them. So like I'm more like focused. You know what I'm saying? I'm not in training, fucking around, joking, making jokes. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> bro, I don't speak German, so I can't really make no joke. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I kind of like it, you know, when I'm like in a different like environment. What you know city what were you in? I was in uh, Dusseldorf. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, I was in Dusseldorf. That's right. I remember talking about this. Yeah. Because yeah, I, I was, I mean, on trials all over, but I finished finished up like in Frankfurt or okay. like just north of Frankfurt oh, okay, over okay. there. But I loved it too. Like yeah, it's, it's a was grind. Nice. The lower leagues nice. is grind, but it's a good level. It was nice. Good yeah. players. Yeah. I like the German style of training and all that. It was cool. Um, yeah. So how long did you, you say you were there? I was there for maybe like three, four months again. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then came back home, right? And then to be honest, I don't really remember much that happened, but I ended up going back to Germany again. Uh-huh. Like I said, the first time I went, I was with a fifth division team, right? Yeah. Came back home, went back for a fourth division opportunity, right? Mm -hmm. Fourth division. I believe I went there at the wrong time. You know what I'm saying? When'd you go? Uh, I would say somewhere between when the transfer window was closing. Yeah. Yeah. So I went there and then I could have signed, you know, international spot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Transfer window was closing. Fourth division team. And I feel like even at that time, like... I didn't really impress too much, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I didn't really impress too much, even though it was fourth division. Uh, just, just, it wasn't good enough to where like, they're like, yo, we want this guy. We'll, be, we'll do whatever it takes, you know, for this guy, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It was just like, okay, he's like a decent guy. That's it, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, went there. So the fourth division opportunity didn't work. And then I just ended up staying there. I stayed with my with my cousin because my cousin lived there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I stayed and there. And you said this was back in Dusseldorf? Yeah, the sort of yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but I went to a different town for the fourth yeah. division. So I was I went there for like a a week tryout. Uh huh. It didn't work out. Then I came back to Dusseldorf and gotcha. just stayed in Dusseldorf with my uh with my cousin. Where like now I'm just waking up and just kicking the ball around like just individual training. Yeah, training. individual training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were your trainings good or was it like were you lacking motivation now or what? <sighs> I was still motivated. Yeah, I was motivated. That's good. Yeah. So this was like from like twenty to like. 20 from like from like 20 to like two years later you know i still haven't signed a pro contract i'm still yeah. going around you know what i'm saying i bounce from like country to country looking for looking for a contract and but i was, I was still motivated yeah. did you think though like so this is country to country like you said two years now yeah there were you like were doubts coming into your head of like oh it's probably not gonna work were you like people telling you hey you should quit you should get a job go back to school or like or were you thinking like no no it's gonna happen it just needs time I uh even at that moment it was just like I didn't really uh like I wasn't really like a social media guy so like it wasn't I wasn't listening to nobody bro mm -hmm. I just do my thing you know what I'm saying I was just doing my thing uh I didn't care about social media or none like that so yeah. it wasn't no feedback coming from anywhere that's good I was just doing my thing that's yeah. good really yeah good. yeah and then what happened after Germany Germany came back right came back to Germany right so. And then first time I actually look into the USL, uh -huh. right? And what year is this now? This is this, this is 2019. Yeah, this is 2019. Okay. This is like maybe like 
February 2019 or something like that. Yeah. Or January, February 19, something like that. And uh, I'm looking at the USL table and uh, season already started, right? Mm-hmm. Season already started. Uh, Toso's taking mad L's. I wouldn't say mad L's. It was t- you, a you, few, you, you, a you know, few. You know, you know 2019, <laughs> Toso's bottom of the table, bro. Yeah, we were bottom of the table. Bro, yeah. taking mad L's, bro. I'm following this every weekend, right? Yeah. I'm following this every weekend. It's like Saturday, Tulsa lost 3-0. Mm-hmm. Next game, Tulsa, Tulsa lost 4-1. Mm-hmm. Next game, 3-0. So it's just like, they just get banging goals on Tulsa, right? <laughs> so I'm trying to see like if this L's was like, because this was this L's was before did I came come, there. Did you come in preseason? I can't I remember. Came, I saw like, 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 like maybe, maybe I saw like April and season probably started like in March or something like yeah, that. Yeah, so it must have been like the first couple weeks but the thing is that i end up staying at tulsa for a while before i signed yeah yeah but uh but yeah but this side came to tulsa door i just looked at the record and yeah. the record wasn't looking good uh-huh. right and then it looked like they was just like the defense wasn't doing good you yeah. know what i'm saying i don't know if the goals are coming from your right side or i i don't know you know what i'm saying <laughs> well the first part of the season i was I injured can't tell. okay I was injured. okay I was all right all right so uh went online right i went online this is after I came back from Germany. Mm-hmm. This is even way before I looked at the Tulsa stuff, right? Mm-hmm. So I went online. I type, I go on Google, list of agents, mm-hmm. right? List of agents, agents all over the fucking world, yeah. whatever, right? Got like fucking hundreds of fucking emails pulled up of agents, right? All over the US, all over the country, right? So created this one email that I sent to like maybe a hundred agents a day, mm-hmm. right? So, hey, my name is. At this time, Tulu wasn't Tulu wasn't alive yet. You know what I'm saying? With Tulu wasn't alive yet, so it was Walid. You know what I'm saying? Tulu wasn't alive yet. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, my name is Walid. Uh, you know, I've been traveling here, here, and there. You know what I'm saying? I made a CV with all my semi pro teams on it, whatever. So, I'm looking for an opportunity, but uh, you know, I need an agent to help me out. You know what I'm saying? Send maybe like 400 emails, right? total right and then uh one guy responded <laughs> i keep checking my emails every day like yo <laughs> somebody go respond somebody go respond one uh-huh. guy responded and you gotta keep in mind like this agents this is what i realized this agents don't want to work with like guys that just start up you know yeah. what i'm saying like There's like no i don't get it like like well, like i mean think about it like as a money type thing they're gonna have to work twice as hard three times as hard to make a third of the money a tenth bro. of the money this shit is tough. It's hard, yeah. It's tough, bro. Like, 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 if you're a player with no connection, you don't know anybody, and then you trying to play pro, it's tough. Mm-hmm. It's tough, bro. So it's like, that's that, that was me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I didn't know nobody, bro. I didn't know anybody. Nobody in my family play soccer, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And stuff like that. No connection. So I emailed them. Nobody responded. This one guy responded, right? And he's not even an agent. Because he's trying to be an agent too, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he's like, okay, maybe this guy, like, we can help each other out. You know what I'm saying? He has no connection, right? Yeah. He has no connection. And uh, he responds, and uh, we started talking. You know what I'm saying? We started talking. Then uh, I was like, hey, look, I'm looking at Tulsa right now. They look like they need a defender, right? So I told this guy, look, message Tulsa because they losing, right? Yeah. You guys need a defender, like. Message Tulsa, tell me you have this player, blah, blah, blah. I've been traveling all over Europe. You know, obviously, I'm going to try to make, like, my semi-pro teams look like, look, this guy been in Europe. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, yeah. Whatever I have, I got to use it to my advantage. You know what I'm saying? This yeah. guy played here in Sweden, even though semi-pro, lower division, this guy been around. So he go ahead. First of all, we can't find the coach's email. Yeah, that's right? what we, I was going to ask, how did you get the email? You can't find the coach's email. Yeah. So... Looked everywhere, you know, this is what players do. We look on the website. <laughs> they don't post the email, bro. No. We go on LinkedIn, baby. <laughs> we go on LinkedIn, type the coach's name. His profile pops up. Yeah. But no contact. So we have to message him on LinkedIn, mm-hmm. right? Up to now, I still have that screenshot mm-hmm. of like when that guy messaged him. Because yeah. whenever he messaged him on LinkedIn, he messaged uh, Mike. Mike, yeah. Mike, Michael. Yeah. He messaged him on LinkedIn, right? And, uh, he sent me a screenshot. Hey, look, I messaged him, so we just have to be patient and, and wait. He messaged him. Hey, look, I have this player. He's been uh he's been traveling here and there, here and there. Uh, 
he just need a fair trial. Like, just give yeah. him a fair trial if you can. You know, a couple of days go by. Mike Mike finally reply on LinkedIn, right? Like, yeah, we'll give him a chance. Uh, We'll give him a fair trial. Like, bring him. Like, let's look at him. You know what I'm saying? So, buy my tickets. Mm-hmm. Boom. I'm out in Tulsa. Uh, no team housing, right? Yeah. I get me a little motel, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's all I need, bro. Just a little motel, a little, a little, a little mattress on the floor, you know what I'm saying? That's all I'm used to anyway, you know what I'm saying? So got me a little motel. Uh I Uber to training, right? I Uber to training. Training is done. Remember, keep in mind, like they wasn't feeding us mm-hmm. breakfast, nothing after training. So I Uber to training and then uh I Uber back to my motel. And then from there, like I walk to like a gas station, buy my buy my dinner or whatever. I'm back in the hotel room, uh-huh. locked in for the rest of the night. You know what I'm saying? I don't go anywhere, bro. Uh, this motel was in the middle of nowhere, bro. First time meeting in Tulsa, bro. Uh, it's small... I have videos. I'm just walking around like, hey guys, look what I'm at, blah blah blah. <laughs> so like, I walk. I'll, I'll go. I'll go to training every day. You know what I'm saying? I'll go to training. You know, train whatever. And keep in mind, like Tulsa was rough. Like when you come on trial, these players did not give a shit about you. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, like 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 like. Let's say like, okay, I'm at Hartford right now, right? Yeah. If a player come on trial, the coach will at least look at you. Mike will not look at you. Like, 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 you got to like, like, let's say I'm a center back and then you guys play in the scrimmage, I'll be outside and I'm on trial and I'll be trying to sub in and then the player's like, nah, nah bro, what the yeah. fuck? Stay with yeah. it, bro. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you got to kind of find your way to play. Mike, Mike will not put you in. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I end up staying on trial for like, like a month and a half, I think. Mm-hmm. So I was on trial. I didn't sign till like a month and a half later. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, but yeah, like a week after, like just being at that motel, and then like going back, like back and forth for like Uber. You know what I'm saying? Motel money, like walking to the gas station to go get some food, whatever, whatever. You know, Moses, right? Yeah, Moses, like yo, bro, he came up to me after training. He was like, yo, bro. I know how it is like when you come on trial, you know what I'm saying? Like it's tough. Like, you know, you got to catch an Uber back and forth. The team is not giving you housing. Like yeah. uh, you can come stay on my couch. Bless, brother. Bless. <laughs> Moses is a good guy. Yeah, That's he's good. a good guy. He's a good guy. I saw you. I said, you're not staying at my yeah. house. Like, There's no way. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> he's from Maryland too. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like, Did yo, you guys know each other beforehand? No. Nah, okay. No, no, no. It was just nah. through. We yeah. saw you. We were a good guy. Yeah. You know, he brought, you know, good energy, whatever. Yeah. And I was like, okay. So, uh, yeah, bro. So I like I left the motel like maybe like a week and a half later or so. Went to Moses' uh, apartment because mm-hmm. you live by himself. Yeah, uh, I think he had like a two bedroom mm-hmm. by himself because I think his uh, wife and kids was gonna come later or whatever. So one room was just empty, right? Literally empty, no mattress, nothing. So I put like a, a sheet on the floor, right? <laughs> on the on the on the floor. Yeah, no carpet, no mattress, no nothing. Put a sheet on the floor. Take like a cushion from the carpet, yeah. put it as a pillow. I'm good, brother. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I was good. Uh, stay there for a while. Sometimes my back would start hurting. So I moved to the fucking couch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm going to take the couch. You know what I'm saying? So I, I took the couch sometimes. You know what I'm saying? So I kept switching back and forth. Uh-huh. Uh, Yeah, bro. So I was there until like, I'm, t- I'm talking to this guy every day. Like, yo, have you talked to the coach? Like, yo, what mm-hmm. is he saying, bro? He's like, oh, he's not really saying much. And then, one day he was like, yo, the coach told me like, uh, you know, he had he he knows like a USL League One team, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. do you want to go to a League One? Uh, I'm like, nah, tell that guy, we're not going to no damn League One, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we want to stay in the USL, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Uh, so he told him, he told, he told, he told the coach, he's like, yo, uh, nah, like, we'll do whatever it takes to stay here. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? We don't want to go to League One, blah, 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 blah. Uh yeah, bro, and then like so, pretty much like I end up like I'm pretty much like begging to sign now. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like they're not interested. They want to send me to a league one. That's what that's what uh, Mike was saying to my agent. Yeah. I know the coach. You know we can send him to league one, and then we'll kind of keep an eye on him. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we could bring him back for next season. Yeah. Because keep in mind at this point, it's like Tulsa. I think I already had like four center back. Yeah. Or something like that. Or they yeah. already had three at least. Oh no, they have four. Yeah, it was four because they had uh, Milan Sip. They had Milan Sip. Nico. Uh, who's Nico? Uh he was like the Indian guy. Okay. Well, now nah, I don't think they had oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They had Nico, yeah. yeah they had Nico. Nico. They had a tall guy from Brazilian. They had yeah. two guys from Brazil. Yeah, yeah, 
uh, was that Hernan, Hernan. Hernan? And then they had the other guy that was playing oh, left- Luca, Luca, bro. Yeah, so, exactly. So like he's like, like five, four, yeah. five. So we sent him League One. You know what I'm saying? We keep an eye on him, and then uh, if anything, we can bring it back for next season or whatever. Mm-hmm. He's like, nah, we don't want to go to League One, bro. We want to stay in the U.S. Championship. I told him like, bro, I'm not going to League One, bro. Uh, and then pretty much begged them for a contract. You know what I'm saying? And they're like, okay, we'll sign him. You know what I'm saying? So I signed there. And yeah, you know. And this was your first, this is your first contract in a professional league. In a professional league, yeah. Do you think, like again, older Tulu giving younger Tulu advice, do you think it would have been smart to go to a League One team? Or do you think it was a right decision to stay in the USL championship? For me right now, I think like, I think it was right staying in there. So you would have yeah. so you would tell younger Tulu yeah. stay in the higher league. Yeah, because I I obviously I didn't even know what was gonna happen in League One. I could have went to League One and bench. Yeah. I could have stayed in the bench. I'd rather stay here and bench than you know what I'm saying. In the higher league on yeah. the bench, yeah. 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 So it's not like I had a guaranteed spot there yeah. anyway. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I would have stayed. I would have stayed. Yeah. And then so with their now, you're with the with us this is where we met. This is where right. we became best friends. We all Very this enough. stuff. And then uh, you got into your first couple of games. You got into like five, ten. I games, played or? four games, right? Four games. Four I played games. four games. How was your professional debut? Where was it? Do you remember? It was at home. Uh huh. It was at home. Shit in fuck. Shit in my fucking pants, bro. <laughs> shit, my. <laughs> <laughs> nervous. Swear to God, bro. Fucking nervous. Mm-hmm. Somebody called me out on that, bro. I don't know if he was a fucking owner or somebody. Somebody really? said. Somebody said, you know. Tulu shit at his fucking pants the first game. I don't remember what he said. I don't remember you doing anything bad though the first game. Yeah, did I don't you play bad? I played, but it wasn't it wasn't really a good game. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And we lost that game. But yeah, bro, like nervous. Yeah, I was nervous. Still learning. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, uh, it was cool, bro. It happens. And yeah. then did you feel more and more confident as you played in the next three games? Do you have any big moment where you're like, I'm feeling like a pro, like in a good environment, like a good game? You were like, this is it. I felt the 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 open cup game, right? Yeah. I felt good, you know what I'm saying? Like I felt like, you know what I'm saying? I felt good. That was how we played Austin. Yeah. At Austin, you know, nice stadium, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So I'm like, it was I'm actually a pro, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So felt good. But we lost that game still. You know what I'm saying? We lost that game still, but it's one of the moments I felt like, yo. That was a game you said yeah. this is it. Yeah. And then a tough year. Finished out that year tough. It was tough. It was tough. I ended up playing like two or four games, right? Yeah. Just starting one. I started one game. Mm-hmm. The other three probably played like a couple of minutes each. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it was and, a rough And year. the hard part is when you're on a losing team, and especially if you're not like playing every single game, right. it's hard because did they want you back? Did you say, I'm going somewhere else? Uh, I already knew like I wasn't going to sign back. Yeah. Like they, 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 they wasn't going to take me back. I didn't have a great year, you know? And uh, so right after that, I didn't know what was next, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't know what was next. Remember John remember Janu? Yeah. Janu, right? From Portugal. Yeah. So after the season, Janu came up to me like, yo, bro, like you've been busting your ass in training, right? Mm-hmm. Busting your ass in training. But I know the coach is not giving you any chance. Mm-hmm. You should try to go to Portugal. Mm-hmm. You should try to look into Portugal. Oh, uh, so like I'm like, okay, like if you know anybody in Portugal, like let me know. Cause you know, he's from Portugal. Yeah. We're not even going to talk about my contract in Tulsa because that was shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh-huh. But uh, so went to, so after the season ended, right? Season ended, came back home. Season ended like what? Like maybe like November, whatever, October. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. October. Right, yeah, yeah, something like that. Came back home. Uh, Three weeks later, Jadu hit me up on WhatsApp. He's like, yo, bro, do you have a highlight? I'm like, yeah, I was able to make a highlight like, with the four games or whatever mm-hmm. minutes I got from Tulsa, I was able to make like maybe like a four minute highlight or something like that. Mm-hmm. Four minute. Uh he said, you'll send it to me right now with a club right now in the third division of Portugal. They doing bad, so they might need a center back. Mm-hmm. So I sent it to them. He showed the president. President like, yo, we want this guy. So right from there, like right after the season ended, three weeks later, I'm in Portugal on an island. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. On an island in Portugal. Cash Cow? What's it called? Uh, Azores. Oh, Azores. Where's Where's Azores. Janu from? What's Janu, it? I don't even know. Something bro. like the Kashkaish or something. I don't even know, yeah. bro. Azores. So, You're yeah, on the island on a, of Azores. Yeah, I was on an island of Azores. So like, it's like there's Portugal and there's a little island called Azores, uh-huh. which is also considered part of Portugal. But like, mm-hmm. it's like so like people in Portugal when they play in each other, they just take like you know like a bus, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying, to go play. But us, if it, if it's an away game, we have to fly oh, to yeah. go into. It's Portugal. like a thirty minute flight. 
It was short. Yeah. It was short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we had to fly because we was like, it was it was just an island, you know. So yeah, went there, stay there. <laughs> phone, phone call number six. Anyways, <laughs> so we went there. We stayed there, right? So I went there, stayed there, and then uh, season was going. You know what I'm saying? It was going well. You know what I'm saying? I liked it. The weather was good over there. So yeah, and then, beautiful place. That nah, was nice. It was yeah. nice. It was nice. And then COVID hit. Yeah, yeah. The the division wasn't like third division. It wasn't the best. Like you know, people still like you know like so people still work. You know what I'm saying? They come mm-hmm. play whatever, whatever. But uh. It was chill, bro. It was chill. Mm-hmm. And then COVID hit and then the season just shut down. Mm-hmm. And I ended up staying there for like a month, like without playing. Because mm-hmm. I couldn't I couldn't find a flight back home. You know what I'm saying? Like no flight was going. That's when COVID really hit hard, mm-hmm. bro. Like, yeah. Did uh did you have any trouble with like a working visa or like how did they sort that out for you? Uh I was able to like Bro, they just sorted it out, bro. I was able to stay there for 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 You didn't ask questions, you said nah, I, I, I didn't play ask questions. Yeah, yeah. Like they they took me to like the embassy or whatever mm-hmm. they did, they, whatever they had to do, whatever. So I, I was good. I was good. Gotcha. Yeah, I was good. I was good. Uh-huh. It was chill. And then so with, I mean, I'm guessing you you came back to the U.S. after the the yeah. COVID. Really I came hit. back. Yeah, I came back, and uh, when I came back, people the season here was still going on. Like yeah. that COVID, year, like some people were still playing a little bit, a little bit. So like, but that whole year when I came back, I just I just worked. You know what I'm saying? I just worked. That was uh that was 2020. I just worked. You know worked as like a job or worked as yeah, a Yeah, I worked train? a job. I worked a job. Where'd you yeah. work? Uh, what did I do, bro? bro? I did a whole bunch of shit. I think I was a security guard or some shit. Uh-huh. I don't know, yeah. So now, so now it's been like, what, four years since you dropped out? It's been like, Three yeah. Three years? It's been, because uh, I dropped out in, from, from you talking about from my D3, right? Yeah. So, it was just probably like, yeah, it's been like, yeah, three years. So, at this point now. I mean, this is, I feel like a lot of people, I feel like don't understand. This is three years, three of, years. of bouncing around, yeah. instability, yeah. going to lower division teams and not, sometimes not the best environment. Bro, sometimes good environment. This is three years of like just bouncing around, no money, right? Yeah. No money. Like, like, like I'm talking about no money, bro. It's like, it's like those times where I was, I was like in Sweden, whatever. I was in like Tulsa, whatever. I wasn't making shit when I was in Tulsa. Mm-hmm. I'm going to let y'all know right. I wasn't making shit. You know what I'm saying? And uh, girlfriend was paying my phone bill, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh-huh. She sometimes paid my car insurance, you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 yeah, bro. Did like, you think about quitting at that time? Bro, I didn't think about quitting, but like at that point, like people around me was like, yo, you're wasting your fucking time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're wasting your time. Uh, she felt like I was wasting my time, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, bro. But she was like, she was sporty. She was paying my phone bill. My phone was on. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It was nice of her. Hey. <laughs> hey. And I'm, I'm asking this too because all this leading up to finally I felt like came to your breakthrough of 2021. That was your big year, I feel like. you. I, I don't want to say it's a breakthrough, bro. Because it's like, it was still a grind to get up here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like, I feel like I haven't had a breakthrough yet. Uh-huh. If I'm, if I'm going to yeah, say like I'm going to be honest. I haven't had a breakthrough, bro. It's like, so people might look like I had a breakthrough, you know what I'm saying? But it looked better than what it looked like two years ago. Mm-hmm. It looked better than what it would look like a year ago. Yeah. But like, I'm at the bottom, bro. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm at the bottom. How did you get the opportunity in 2021 with Hartford Athletic? Okay. 2021 Hartford Athletic, right? So going on again, like, and right now, like, you know, I'm still going on trials, whatever, right? Yeah. So, uh, this is the thing. So, in 2021, right? So, when I played in Tulsa, remember Babu, right? Mm-hmm. Babu, right? So, he was at RGV, right? He ended up signing the RGV. Yeah. And after RGV, after RGV, uh, the coach here, right? A Hartford in 2021, wanted to sign him, right? Mm-hmm. Wanted to sign him as a center back. And keep in mind, my guy's a midfielder. Yeah. Right? But now he's playing left back. Mm-hmm. Right? So he's a midfielder. They wanted to sign him as a as a left as a center back, a left footed center back, mm-hmm. right? But then he ended up he didn't end up coming here. He ended up going somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? He ended up signing. I don't know what he signed in 2020. Maybe that's he was in Phoenix 2020. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But so like that's my guy. You know what I'm saying? He's like, yo, Hartford wanna sign me as a as a as a, as a center back, blah, 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 blah. 
And then he didn't end up coming here. So I'm like, oh shit, maybe they need a center back. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Give me the give me the contact name of uh, from Hartford. So he gave me athletic, athletic director's contact. So from there, I give it to that same agent, right? From 2019. Keep in mind, that guy lived in Florida. I haven't seen him. We've never seen each other before. Yeah. We've been coming back for like two, three years now. I never seen him before. So I give him the contact from Hartford. I'm like, yo, hit Hartford up and ask them for a tryout. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That, you know, obviously we, now at this point we build up the CV, you know, all the semi-pro. We have Tulsa in there. Yeah. Uh, we have Portugal in there. You know what I'm saying? Asked them for a trial. So he asked them for a trial. Then I came in Hartford in 2020 for a trial. Yeah, I came on trial in 2021. Bust my ass off. Uh, able to obtain a contract. And then, yeah, still still living it up, baby. <laughs> still living it up, baby. <laughs> yeah. uh, and, and so you must have done well in the trial, obviously, to get the contract. I did, yeah, yeah. I, I did good. I did good to uh-huh. try out, earn a, earn a spa. And then, yeah, from there, just. And then you, were you starting every game in 2021? 2021, I, I want to say, like, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't st- Start. I didn't. I didn't start, but like I end up like. No, nah, actually, I did one in twenty twenty one. I think as soon as I came back, like, as soon as I came in, like one of the center back was hurt. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, I I was able to play. I was able to play. How was the season in twenty twenty one? Uh, yeah, I was able to play a good amount of minutes. You I got started, your first yeah, professional started, goal that season, right? Was it that year, or was it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah, I think it was yeah, twenty twenty one. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. I did so. Yeah, I know your career cool. better than you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and did you feel like on the field now? How did it feel compared to when you said you were shitting your pants at Tulsa? Did you feel more confident? I feel more confident. I feel more confident for sure. Now I kind of use like the fans, like as like a drive, like mm-hmm. it keeps me going. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. back then in Tulsa, like yo, I see like fifty people in the crowds. I'm shitting my pants. You know what I'm saying? But now like. I love I love a, I love playing in front of a crowd. Yeah, you know, and Hartford's yeah. a good place for that. Like, yeah, it's a yeah, great crowd. Nah, for sure, for sure. And for did sure. you have a moment like in 2021 or 2022 from the last couple of years where you're like, like that stuck out to you as like a really big moment, cool moment as a pro? Uh, last year, either last year or in 2021. Uh, yeah, I mean, I would say last year is just like the goals and mm-hmm. like the the way the fans go crazy and like. Just signing autographs is just yeah. it just makes you feel like feel like a pro, you know. Signing autographs, taking pictures, makes you feel like a pro. And I'm yeah. sure now the contracts have gotten a little bit better than than what you're getting at Czech Republic or everything. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, it's definitely better. It's definitely okay. better. It's definitely better. But, bro, for me personally, bro, like, 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 you know, so people would look at it and just be like, yo, this guy's like, he's he's at the top. I I feel like. I personally feel like I'm at the bottom, bro. I'm still mm-hmm. grinding. You know what I'm saying? I'm still grinding. And uh, yeah, bro. That's a feel. good mindset to have because as soon as you feel like, oh, I made it. This is it. That's where you stop. Getting yeah. that drive of training so hard, working so hard, yeah. getting opportunities. Yeah, that's true. That's definitely true. I mean, I, and I've seen it. I've seen players that for whatever reason get a good contract in the USL even, which yeah. is not a good contract in the grand scheme of contracts. Mm-hmm. It's enough to be comfortable but you're not killing it. Not, and then they're bro. like, oh yeah, I'm set. I'm chilling now. Oh, and so it's good. It's a good mindset to have of like, I'm still at the bottom, I'm still working. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And then so now basically, and this is your third year at Hartford. Third year at Hartford, bro. Third yeah. year at Hartford. Uh, and I have to, I got to say something too. I, I The reason I got here is yeah. because of you. Because in the off season, yeah. I was you know out of contract looking for people. And just like you reached out to other people and be like, hey, send me the coach's contact. I reached out to you. I'm like, hey, you know, what's your right back situation? Yeah, and you came through and helped me out, and hey, ended hey, up coming hey, out. Hey, that's how it is, man. I feel like in this, in this, in this game, like in this game, sometimes you gotta have a connection. You gotta keep that friendship. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Because you never know, bro. Like I've seen people go from like they have a club now, and the next year they don't have a club. It Especially in the USL, yeah, happen all the time, bro. Mm-hmm. So it's just like. Yeah, and yeah, that's what yeah. happened. I mean, again, it's it's like you got to build trust. It's like, and for you, if if the situation was reversed ever, or if it is ever reversed, and you're like, "Hey, Matt, I need to contact it here, here." I, yeah. first, I trust you as a person. Yeah. I trust you as a player. Hundred yeah. percent, I'm helping yeah. you out. Yeah. You know, yeah. so if like Anthony Lejean, whoever it is, like yeah. that, you trust him that. But if I was like, "Oh no, I don't like you. You're a dick," yeah. or like, "No, you're a shit player," I, I'd maybe send you the wrong email address that's or something. Facts. Spell something a little bit wrong. That's <laughs> <laughs> bro, I have like I have I have I have I have sent out like I've I have people just reach out to me people I don't even know like mm. on Instagram like hey can you help me can you help me 
get into the team or can you help me blah 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 like I I try my best you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. I try my best like like obviously I can't just hand out the coach phone number and just like mm-hmm. that but if there's a stat that I can give you an email like, I'll give you an email mm-hmm. bro shoot your shot bro you and then in, in the future now like looking forward because you're only 25 25 yeah that's still young some people say young. Some people say old. Oh, you know I what think saying? that's young. Twenty five is young. I didn't even, bro. At twenty five, it depends the way you see it, though. Like, like at twenty five, like, I was getting surgeries, out of contract, about <laughs> to go down to New Zealand to play semi pro. <laughs> oh shit! So, like, it, it, I had even started. I felt like bro. my good game, my good seasons in the USL at, yeah. at twenty five. So it's like, I mean, my best seasons were at twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine. Hopefully okay. now at thirty. Yeah. So that's what I'm hoping for. And okay. so looking forward, you want to just keep on playing until like the wheels fall off until your body can't handle it anymore? Or what's your mindset right now? Yo, one thing for sure I'll tell you, my mindset is not like how it was like two years ago, if uh-huh. I'll be honest. Like two years ago, I was just thinking soccer. Now I'm not thinking fully soccer. You know what I'm saying? Like, like What else are you thinking? Especially me, if I'll be honest with you, especially me, I'm not a player that's satisfied in the USL. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I don't. I don't want to be a USL legend. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't give a fuck. I don't want to be a USL legend. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like my mind is above USL. And if somebody tells me right now, I'm going to be honest with you guys right now, if somebody tell me right now, you're too loose. Like somebody that can read the future and tell me you're too loose. For the next six years, you're just going to be playing the USL. I'm going to stop playing right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll stop playing. Seriously. Uh-huh. So for me, I see, I see myself like above the USL playing above the USL, you know? Mm-hmm. But, uh, and especially like, 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 you can make a decent leaving playing, playing the USL, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, it is hard. It, I mean, it's hard, bro. It's hard. It's but like, hard. I mean, at it's 25 hard. still, I mean, especially young center back, Yeah. because I mean, I, I, bigger leagues, either abroad in Europe or MLS or wherever you look, you know, they want to see you getting experience. And yeah. so it's like, if you get experience at 25, 26, yeah. you do well, have a couple breakout seasons. Yeah. You never know. We'll see, bro. What, when you're all done playing, what's, what do you want to do? Like, what's your retirement plan? Whew. Yeah, that's tough, man. <laughs> retirement plan? Yeah. Like, that's the thing, though. Like, the thing with USL is like, I cannot be, I, I could be here, here, and I, next year, I, next year I could retire next year. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I know guys are like, just because they, they didn't find a team this year, they're just like, okay, I'm done. Like, they yeah. just focus on something else and that's it. They don't look back. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, when you play in USL, it's like, technically, I should be thinking about like a, a plan B because mm-hmm. like, you could be here now and then next year, you're not, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't have a, a club, you know what I'm saying? But for me, I don't, bro, I don't even know. <laughs> You'll cross that bridge I when you can't get tell, here. Yeah, yeah. I think that, and, and, and it's good because it's like you're so focused just on yeah. the training, on, yeah. the, on what's happening now. Because yeah. I do think having a plan B, it can make you it it look like that option of quitting. It can yeah. make it look enticing or I mean, whatever. Yeah. One but, thing I know is like, once I stop playing, I'm gonna be good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'll be all right, bro. Yeah. yeah I'll be all right. I, yeah, mean, yeah, I, so. I believe that. Yeah, I'll be all right, bro. So you guys don't have to worry about me too much. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you're a social right. butterfly. You got connections I, everywhere. I'll be all right, bro. I'll be all right. Yeah. 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 That's good. All right, and then so. Like going over your career, we've we've covered a lot. Is right. there any like big moments that like we haven't covered, or any like things that you're like, oh yeah, I didn't even mention this, and this was huge? Or do you think we did a good job like summing uh, things up? I mean, I think we did a good job. We spoke about everything, mm-hmm. but like one thing I want to tell people is like, look, like when you try to make it pro, it's fucking hard. Like hard. You, you're gonna go through a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? You you can lose money. You know what I'm saying? Like like you could be a professional player. And not making shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 you can spend more than you making. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people look at look at professional player, like look at the outside picture. There's a lot that goes into it, bro. There's a lot that goes into it, and it's like when shit is not going your way, you have doubts, bro. Like, like you have a lot of doubts. Like, I know a lot of good player. I know a lot of good player. I met a lot of good players. That's not even playing right now. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's not even playing right now. And it could just be like because of just one moment that they doubt themselves and they just turn off and they're just like, yo, I'm done playing. Yeah. I had a so. big imposter syndrome, like big for my whole career. Like thinking yeah. like, oh, I don't deserve to be here. I like got lucky. Yeah. I skated through. I don't know how I got this professional contract. I don't yeah. know how I'm starting right now at St. Louis FC. I don't know how, <laughs> you know, I can't believe I'm here yeah. amongst everybody else. Like all these guys are real pros. I'm not a real pro. I'm, yeah. I'm just... 
I got somehow got tricked somebody into a contract. And like that was always in my head. Like, oh no, you're not as good as the the real pros. It's hard. Like it's a hard. mental battle every day. And that's stuff it's you hard. don't like it's you hard. tell people it's you know, hard, when yeah. you're in the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of dude. There's a lot that like that goes through our head, bro. Especially mm-hmm. my head, bro. There's a lot of shit that goes through my head, bro. I ain't always like, there's a whole bunch of shit. <laughs> you know there's a whole bunch of shit I go through my head every single day, bro. Mm-hmm. Whether it's like, it's like after training, whether you have a good training session or not. I'm like, I can have a shit training today and just be like, yo, I ain't going nowhere with this shit, bro. This <laughs> shit ain't going to take me. No, I might as well stop right now, bro. <laughs> like shit like that be going through yeah. my head, bro. You know what I'm saying? And then when like some days I have a good training session, I'm like, yo, I have a chance of like taking this shit to the next level. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I have a chance of taking this shit to the next level. But, uh, bro, so right now, bro, I'm enjoying the game, bro. I'm enjoying it. Enjoying playing. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I did say, like, you know, I don't want to be a USL legend, but if the money is right, you know, I might become a USL legend. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, it's, we just saw the roller coaster of, like, weird yeah. thoughts in real time. I mean, that's yeah. how it is, though, because yeah. it's like, I'm exactly like, I think but, every player's yo, like one that. thing I want to say is, like, like, like I said, bro, like, like, so people know that they want to become a professional soccer player from the age of fucking five. Yeah. From the age of fucking six. I didn't make my mind up to like, like I want to chase my dream until I was like out of college. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Crazy. It's like out of college. So it's like, and for me, I saw it like as a way of life. You know what I'm saying? This is how I'm living my life right now. This is my life. This soccer is my life right now. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So I saw it as a way of life. And like, and like the way I picture my life, you know what I'm saying? Is like, I don't, I don't picture my life like this forever. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like some people like, 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 I have love for the game. I have love for the game, but I want to live off this game, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Some people like, yo, like, I'm happy. Like, as long as I'm playing the game and I'm on this much, you know what I'm saying? I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I love the game, but at the same time, like, I want to I wanna enjoy my life. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? If that makes sense. I think that's a part of maturing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because t- when I was 21, 22, dropping out of school, I was like, I don't care. Like, I don't care. Yeah. Like, you, like, sleeping on a uh, blanket in the, yeah. in the bathroom, whatever, yeah. flipping up a mattress in the kitchen, yeah. like, making zero money. Like, I just want to play. I want to go for the grind. But then you mature and you get older yep. and you look at yep. it and you're like, you yep. know what? If it's like the money has to be right. Yeah. I, uh, you, that's part of it. Yeah. Even now, like, having a daughter and having a life, it's like, I can't, I yeah. physically can't live that Bro, anymore. It's like, it's like, it's like when I was like 21, 20, I would jump on the plate tomorrow. Like I'm going anywhere, yeah. but like, I like just for any opportunity, like I don't, I can't do that mm-hmm. now. You know, I'm not going to do that. Like I'm not going to, no fucking fifth division in Sweden or fourth division will make me jump on the plane right now. Yeah. But like four years ago, I would just do that. I would do that, you know? Yeah. And I think that's oh, yeah. one, it's really good because it shows how far you've come yeah. as a player. Cause now you're like, oh, I, I know what I'm worth. Yeah. But like it's also like I said, it's you're maturing as a person, as a as a player too. Yeah. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Nah, for sure, for sure, yeah. for sure. But yo, it's been a hell of a fucking grind, bro. And fun? I, bro, it's been fun. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like a, you, you get the amazing, amazing moments. Like when you're scoring a goal in front of a home crowd, yeah. it's that you're on amazing. this high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then if you when you're injured or you're yeah. not benched or whatever. Bro, it's like mixed emotions, bro. And, and like, like you said, it happens day to day. Yeah. A good training, a bad training, yeah. a good play. Yeah. Your my crossing was yeah. off one day. I come home and I'm not in the best yeah. mood. If I win, if I make people in the rondos a good session, I'm yeah. coming home, I'm buzzing. I'm, I'm it's happy. like it's like it's like look, like like you play, right? You know, starting at 11, you play, you know what I'm saying? Team is doing well. You happy. You're like, yo, like, it's about to be my breakout season. Mm-hmm. Next season come, like, you on the bench. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, sometimes I feel like, yo, I'm about to take this game to the to the next level. Mm-hmm. So, like, sometimes I feel like, yo, like, like I should stop, bro. <laughs> like, I should stop. Yeah. And that's when people yeah. talk about the mental side of the game, like, yeah, and having yeah. a strong mentality with that. Yeah. It's like... It's not like, you know, people are like, oh, you need to visualize or journal or whatever, but it's like, that's what it is. It's the day-to-day up and downs, season-to-season up and downs, going through injuries. It's, it's it's hard. It's really hard. Yeah. But you've had a really crazy story to get up to where you bro. are. Yeah. It's, it's, it's hey, insane. Hey, the story's still going, bro. It's still going. It's still going. You're still bro. young. It's Even still people call, say that you're old. Bro, bro. 25's young. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, I mean, I don't. I personally don't know how I feel, to be honest. Sometimes <laughs> I feel old, sometimes I feel young. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, yeah. I'm going to finish it. I'm going to ask you three questions. Okay. Always how I end the podcast. One, uh, what was the absolute best moment of your entire career? I would say... 
Yo, bagging the goal, bro. Like, like bagging the goal for me. Like, bagging the goal, winning the game. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And when you score, when you guys win the game, that's been like, yeah, bro. That celebrating in front of fans, like, like that. I would say that was last year. Then last year, last year I feel last year because last year for me, 2022 been like my my best season. Mm-hmm. I guess you know what I'm saying. Even though like it started very rough, bro. Mm-hmm. It started very rough. Start the whole season, maybe like sixteen games. I only play like I only had like maybe like four appearances uh-huh. in sixteen games, and then uh, end up finishing strong. But I'll still say that's like my best season. Mm-hmm. So that's another thing that hold me up though. It's like it's like I learned from that season, like from like not seeing like the ball in like maybe twelve games or so. Mm-hmm. But, like you know, what I'm saying having a good season. So last season scoring a goal, yeah, yeah. And what was your absolute worst moment of your career? <sighs> worst moment of my career? Uh, I can't really think of nothing right now. Nothing. Bro. Nah, bro. It's just, it's just like I would say for me, it's just I would say maybe like that first half of the season when I wasn't uh, seeing uh, last, like, last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, when I wasn't seeing like, like, like. So your worst nothing, moment bro. of your career. And turn into your best moment of yeah, your career. Yeah, I'll say that. In a I'll single say season. That. Yeah, I'll say that's, that. That's I'll cool. Say that. That's good. I'll say that. And, and like, it's still going like this right now, bro. Of course. Yeah. Always. Every single Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm not. No trip, bro. What's funny too is you look at other players sometimes yeah. and you constantly think, oh, they don't have those lows. Right. Like they don't have lows. Their, right, their whole right, career right. is up, up, up. Yeah, but like I come like, on the podcast and I love this so much because I talk to players. Yeah. And like players that I would think I, from the outside Oh, it's just been high after yeah. high after high. Yeah. They talk and they talk, tell me these stories and like I, you hear their lows. Yeah. Like, well, I didn't yeah. see that. It's like nobody's going to post facts. that on Instagram. That's facts. That's facts. That's facts. And I feel like everybody have like their time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Why are you having your high? This guy's having his low. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And it'll switch. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. it'll switch. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has their time in the light. Yeah. Yeah. yeah for sure. And for it's sure. like the same for me too. Like, it, you know, you could see my career and it's like, oh yeah, he's been starting. He's been doing well. But yeah. like, you don't remember the times I came in at fourth string right back right 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 you remember exactly. the times i got injured had three surgeries you know i remember this time like that's facts it's t- yeah, it, yeah but it's like it's how it goes and the players that can keep on just going through that and keep on working are the ones that have good careers that's true and then my final question for you before we yeah. end the podcast is if 25 year old mature smart tulu that now knows shit about everything <laughs> if you could go back to a younger version of yourself who doesn't know shit about anything yeah. like you said when would you go back and what advice would you give younger Tulu? When would I go back? Yeah, and like advice? is there an age that you think that a younger version of you needed guidance or needed advice? And what would you tell him? Uh, it can be when you're five. It can be when you're 18. It could be last year, whenever. It could, I, I would say like, it would probably be, mm, it would probably be, Damn, that's 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 like a question to think about. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Uh I'll probably say like maybe last year, to be honest. Okay. Bro. Last year, beginning of the season. You know what I'm saying? And what would you tell him? Uh I was like, 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 I let like my frustration get 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 a hold of me. You know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. like, it's like. I would, I would tell him to keep his cool, bro. I would tell him to keep his cool, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I was very impatient, you know what I'm saying? I was very impatient. And because uh, this year I learned, I learned that like, and from that year I learned that like, look, like in this game, things not always going to go, things not always going to go your way. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Things not always going to go your way. I was, in, I was very impatient, bro. I was very impatient. Like I wasn't playing, right? So I come to training. And then you can see, you can see it that it's some some something's wrong with this guy. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that only brings you down. You know what I'm saying? It's like if I'm frustrated because I'm not playing right, and I come to training, I let that frustration get ahead of me, and I'm not training well. It's only bringing me down. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's only bringing me down. You know what I'm saying? I let that maybe that dragged out from like one game to me like not even playing like the first sixteen games. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If I would have fixed that earlier, you know what I'm saying? Could have. You know, could have got more playing time, whatever. But yeah, mm-hmm. that's good. I would say that. Yeah, awesome. Well, then, anything else you want to say while on the podcast? Uh, hey, look. Uh, I mean, I just want to tell the people, like, look, 
chase your dream, bro. Chase your dream. Chase your dream. You know, uh, like I said, bro, it's not it's not gonna look pretty. You know what I'm saying at the beginning. You know what I'm saying, and even when you get there, it might still not look pretty. But if that's what you want to do, you know, chase your dream. And uh, just put in the work, man. Yeah, yeah. Also, I want to shout out my uh, my brand, bro. Move Plotters, you know what I'm saying? Move Plotters. Uh, I ain't bring the hat, but I should have brought the hat. Oh, you rookie. Yeah, I should have brought the hat. <laughs> but yeah, uh, just just follow me on the gram. I might, I might, I might have some stuff come up. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So yeah, I'll put a link in the description bro. to the. You already know, bro. To the website. Yeah. And the Instagram as well. Yeah, website is actually down right now. So. Oh, how yeah. are you supposed to sell anything? Yeah, I'm going to give you guys the the, the Instagram. The Instagram. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. Yeah, but yeah, so I'm happy to be here, man. I'm happy to come on this podcast, I bro. I know, because like, what's good. crazy is is back when we were at Tulsa together, Yeah, I was, you know, going through teammates and whatever, and then uh, I didn't have time. Like, we didn't have time to get a podcast yeah. in. I think there's a couple players, like, I just didn't have time with. And I was like, don't worry, we'll, we'll link up in the future. Yep. You'll be on the podcast. Yep, 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 and yep. lo and behold, yep, was this yep. four years later? Yep, yep four years later, Get the later, podcast bro. in. Yeah. Completely yeah. different Tulu than yep. young, rookie, shit hey, in his hey, pants, hey, too. I'm glad we waited. I'm glad we waited yeah. a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, it's a good yeah, story. Yeah, yeah that's cool. Awesome. Thank you so much for being on the podcast. No problem, bro. I appreciate no it. It was a pleasure, bro. Yeah, yeah, of course. And again, guys, you know, follow Tulu because yeah. it's Tulu time. It's Tulu time, baby. <laughs> hey, we're going to keep going, though. We're going to keep going. <laughs> Awesome, bro. Thank you. I appreciate you, bro. All right, guys. See ya. Yeah.